Everyone, please rise for prayer. Put your hands in a cup like fashion as if you're receiving a gift. Those who wish to pray, those who do not wish to pray, please stand at attention out of respect. Put your hands in a cup like fashion. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Surely I have turned myself, trying to be upright. To he who originated the heavens and the earth, and I am not of the power of these. Surely my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death are all for Allah, the Lord of the world. No associate has he. This I am commanded, and I am of those who submit. O oh Allah, thou art the king. There is no God but thee. Thou art my Lord, and I am thy servant. I have been greatly unjust to myself, and I confess my faults. So grant me protection against all my faults, for none grant protection against faults but thee. And guide me into the best of morals, for none guide into the best of morals but thee. And turn away from me the evil and indecent morals, for none can turn away from me the evil and indecent morals but thee. O oh, Allah, bless Muhammad and bless the true followers of Muhammad, as thou didst bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham. For surely thou art prayed when they magnify. And O oh, Allah, make Muhammad successful, and make the true followers of Muhammad successful. As thou didst make Abraham and the true followers of Abraham. For surely thou art prayed when they magnify. Forever and ever in our midst. Amen. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Let me see. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, the one God who came to us with the son of the Master W. Fahd Muhammad, the long awaited Messiah of the Christians and the Magdi of the Muslims. I thank Allah for raising a man from among us, a wise man, a strong man, a dedicated man. A loving man, a sincere man, a family man, and the best example that we will ever have. Our eternal leader, our divine teacher, our divine God, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I further thank a lot for the divine teacher in our midst. When I think of this man, it almost makes me want to cry every time I just think about it. Because of what he has brought us out of, because of what he has done for us, because of what he has dedicated for us. His love, his sincerity, his example, his beneficence by the grace of Allah, the gift of Allah. The Quran says in Surah 55, Al Rahman, says constantly and repeatedly, which one of the bounties of your Lord will you deny? A bounty is a gift, a bounty is a present. A gift is something that is wrapped up that we cannot see. The gift that we have in our midst, I don't even think we recognize the gift because we never unwrap the gift. Once we unwrap the gift and study and read in the name of our Lord, we'll understand who this man among us is. Most of us talk about his imminent departure. His imminent departure to Brother Tony X, my humble opinion is, that he's leaving us because we're not studying the man. I ain't talking about a physical departure. I'm talking about an imminent departure. He's doing the work of his father. The scripture said, let this mind that was also in Christ Jesus be in you, Philippians 2 and 5. What mind does Christ Jesus have? What Jesus are you talking about? A prophetical Jesus? A historical Jesus? Or a present Jesus? See, we can look at things in three dimensions. But I thank a lot for this gift. I thank a lot for this man and this present of love among us. I thank a lot for giving me a man to be an example and showing me how to be a man. A man that I want to become. See? He's done so much that we can't even talk about what he's done. Come on. And only by the grace of Allah. He teaches us, don't worship me. Right. Say, you worship me, I'm fine now. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to the earth. Right. But if you worship him who I worship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll always be successful. And I speak none other than the heavyweight champion of love that's been in our midst for 63 years, working hard, right. not crying, mm -hmm. huh? Sparring with the devil, toe to toe, yes. beating him down. Tried to kill him, he still can't kill him, he's still standing. That's so you know that a lot with this man. Yes, I speak none other than the most honorable minister Louis Prayer come. I greet you in the every words of peace spoken by the righteous. I swim and they come. How the sisters and the brothers doing? Fine, sir. I, see, I can't hear the brothers, I hear the sisters. How the sisters and the brothers doing? Fine, sir. Where the brothers at, man? I don't pray to do a lot. Maybe our spirit will get lifted up. Because yes, Brother Neary taught me, he said, when you're talking these truths, brother, and the brother's not feeling your spirit, that's because you ain't right. But when the brothers and the sisters spit in your spirit, it means that you're right, brother. We need to get on the Sarat and the Mustaqim. I said we. Not just you, but me too. All praise to Allah. Allah has sent us a gift in our brother. Allah has gave us a leader in our midst. Yes. The leader in our midst is Muhammad Ma, Muhammad number 48. Brother 
Shaheed, I thank Allah for that brother. He's doing a good work. All praise to the Lord. Give a brother a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Come on. See, I ain't got to tell you no damn right. right. But I know how to kill the devil. I'm cutting head out. Come what on. you talking about, Tom? I ain't talking about the old days, the zebra killers. Yeah. When black folk were killing white folk because they misunderstood right. the right. teachings of the right. 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 uh -huh. I'm talking about cutting off the Negro in me. Lust, envy, greed, jealousy, anger, vanity. I ain't doing this for no applause, man. Come on. It's bigger than me. So I have to look beyond me. Come on. Huh? Like my teacher did. If you don't line your mind up with a lie, right. I ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say. Come on. But if you man. line your mind up with a lie, then I know we in unison. Come I know on. we with the one God. Come on. I know we in our ignorance. Huh? Our yeah. ignorance, sure, with 112. Come on. Huh? Come on. Say he a law of one body. Huh? He a law of the pit. He needs to be just not know if he got nothing. Don't compare him to him. Can't compare nobody with a lot. That's right. Yes, Don't practice polytheism. No, There's only right. one God. Beautiful teaching, brother. But some of us practice polytheism unaware, unconscious. Come on now. The devil have tricked you. Yes, come on. The devil have gave you nothing. That's why we love it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine Jesus talking about he ain't got time to come to the mosque? Right. Jesus, the taxi cab driver. That's right. Jesus, the, the, uh, uh, the bank robber. Yes, sir. Jesus, the dope yes, dealer. Can you say, or can you imagine Ibrahim or Abraham right, and Noah right. and Lot and Moses and Muhammad and Jesus? And for good measures, I'm going to throw in Elijah Muhammad. For good measures, I'm going to throw in Master Farad Muhammad. Yeah, right, for good right, measures, I'm going right. to throw in Mr. Farrakhan. Can you imagine them and seeing them gambling? Huh? Can you imagine that? No, sir. They, they ain't going to do it. They wasn't born to do that. No, sir. They were born to help us. Yes, sir. That's right. The minister say these teachers are so powerful. My goodness. When he teaches on death, he say you can't die. Mm -hmm. You go to sure four and one fifty seven. They thought Jesus was dead. He appeared dead, mm -hmm. but he was not dead. Mm -hmm. What is death? Come on you now. See, we are suffering from a what? A mental resurrection. Yes. And when we read our Quran, it says Mata. Mm -hmm. Elijah is so smart for a great education. Yes, Born sir. October 7, 1897. Ain't had no teacher. That's right. So how can he make a man like Tony Muhammad? Uh, mm. How can he make a man like right. Minister Lewis Farrell? Wait, come on. How can he make a man like you and me? Come on. Right, right, right. See, we're not position struck up in here. Come on. Right. We don't do no personality worship. That's right. Yeah. But if you love a lot, then we love you. That's right. Come on. But if you won't act the cool, if you're a hypocrite, we don't love yes, you. We're going to be hard on the hypocrite. Come on. Hard to the hypocrite, death to the hypocrite, come but let us get to the mental resurrection. Come on. My time. Mental. It's a mental death. Yes, what is a mental death? When well, you don't have the knowledge of yourself. Yes, sir. They say a man that don't know his roots or a woman that don't know their roots are considered what? Dead. 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 The most honorable Latin Muhammad said, go over there and cut the tree down. The brother and sister went and cut the tree down and brought the tree back to him. He said, no, I said, cut the whole tree down. You left the root in the ground, pull it up, go to root everything. Mm -hmm. What is the root of Islam? Yes, sir. What is the root of Christianity? What is the root of our problems in the situation that we're going through? Mm -hmm. Self. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Surely I've turned myself trying to be upright to him. He is a pronoun that originated what? The heaven and what? The earth. Yes, sir. And I am, I, a personal pronoun, am not of the polytheism, those who worship many gods. Mm -hmm. So when we pray, we surrender. Huh? Y'all see how I got my hand. Right. When you get jacked, huh? Right. And they come with that pistol up at 7 left, and you should have been at the mosque. When they come with that pistol and you up in Crowley, you should have been at the mall. Right. Huh? They jack you. Tell me, you know what it is. You saw the same movies. Huh? Kill it. Huh? Why? Why are people killing and robbing and stealing? Because they don't have the knowledge of themselves. Right. But the brother is doing the work and showing us that he needs to do it up there in California. Huh? Right. Right. The city of the Los Angeles. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we surely can do it down here. All we got to do is try. But how many of us are trying all praise to do Allah? How many of us really say or really want to follow the most high of Elijah Muhammad? Do the work of the most high of Elijah Muhammad? Y'all yes, with me? Yes, sir. I can't hear these brothers. Y'all with me, man? Yes, sir. This upsets me, man, to see a man that's soft, man. Like them soft men. Because we got work to do, man. We got to uplift our people, man. Come on, sir. And I hear a sister that's stronger than a brother. I ain't gonna talk to no man like no pussy cat. I'm a lion. Lions got to roar, man. Yes, sir. I ain't mad, but I'm upset. Yes, sir. I'm disappointed. Why? Because I want to look a lot. Look a lot means to meet a lot. Mm. How do you meet a lot? I ain't never 
learned something, Master Farah Muhammad, but I met it yes, through another man. That's oh, right. Crazy. You can't show me nothing on this planet that exists that come didn't on. come from me. Huh? Yeah. Show me anything that exists. They say, oh, man, the book came from Allah. Who's Allah? Come he got 99 attributes. Right. right. Signs and symbols of what? Conscious minds. Go ahead, bro. The attributes that describe Allah are the characteristics of a human being. You yeah. can't argue with me, man. Come on. About these teachers. Get your butt beat up for real. When it comes down to these life giving teachers of the most oh, obvious. Oh, 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 yeah, yesterday we come speak Arabic. We can speak it today. Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yesterday we were blind up and dumb. We ain't blind up and dumb today. Come on. Yesterday we were smoking bloods and reapers and killing our own people. Yes, Crips and bloods, huh? Gang the disciples and vice lords. But today we gods. I ain't scared to tell you. See? You ain't no dog. Dog spelled backwards is God. What is God? He's a supreme being. He's a live and living man. What you said at the end of your prayer? Hey, what? Yeah. Talking about your religion, religious yeah. game, right? right? Talking about you a Christian, talking about you a Muslim, talking about you a Jew, but you're doing everything opposite of what yeah. you're supposed right. to be. Come on now. You drinking wine, you smoking weed, huh? You fornicating, committing adultery. You selling dope, talking about you a believer. You ain't no alien with me. Yo, actually, my witness against you. Enemy. See? Because we ain't supposed to say I. We're supposed to say we. All praise to Allah. How y'all feel? Fine, right. sir. Fired up. I'm yes, glad to be in the midst of the believers. Yes, sir. Are you ready, brother? All praise to Allah. Now I'm about to bring on another brother. My brother, your brother, our brother. From St. Louis. Huh? Come on. Huh? From the city of the Hall. Huh? I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about Brother James Muhammad. So I'm like, yes, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Another powerful round of applause. Lord, whack them up. Lord, whack them How are you feeling today, brothers and sisters? Fine, sir. It is good to see you. I would like to open up in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. We bear witness here, Muhammad's Mosque number 48, that there is no God but Allah. They came in the personage of Master Farad Muhammad in 1930. And in his coming, he gave rise to a stupendous and powerful black man, an intelligent black man, one seemingly ordinary black man that turned out to have extraordinary capability, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And through that man, with God's grace and permission, he gave rise to another man that I miss today, a man who would not bend, who would not bow, who would not break, who would not relent in the face of adversity, stands up and challenges the open enemy, and serves as a mercy to the entirety of the human family. Yes, and that man in our midst today is none other the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, and it's in their three names that I greet you with the nascent salutations of peace, power, and paradise of Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing today, brothers and sisters? Thank you for coming out and give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Brothers and sisters, we welcome you here today to Muhammad's Mosque, the mighty Muhammad's Mosque number 48 in the mightiest city of Dallas. And we are pleased that you can be here today on this great Sunday morning. We pray that a word is given to you today that will transform your life. A word from our principal speaker, a word from our student minister, a word from the assistant minister, or a word from anyone on our ministry staff. We pray that a transformative word will enter into your soul today, brothers and sisters. One that can change your life and renew your spirit. Because it is the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad's brothers and sisters that you don't realize has been the most powerful transformation, redeeming, sociological force that has been in the wilderness of North America and throughout the diaspora of the uh, planet that has ever existed. Come on. It is these teachings that bring us our minds into oneness with Almighty God Allah. These teachings. Never before has there been a teaching that can resurrect the dead because never before has there been a condition that we see on this planet today. That's right. So if there's a condition like none ever seen before and the black man is in a condition like he's never been in before, then this is a teaching that is most powerful. So powerful that even the gods and angels doubt it can be done. But this is a teaching that is that powerful that we want you to accept today and come into embrace and cause a transconfiguration in your life, brothers and sisters. You know, Prophet Muhammad said this with the spirit of Almighty God, God Allah. He said, my servant approaches me with nothing more beloved to me 
than that which I have made obligatory. <laughs> God is saying that my servant approaches me with nothing more beloved to me than that which is obligatory. What does that mean? What is your duty? What has God obligated us to do today? The resurrection of the dead, the uplifting of the spirit, the renewing of the mind, the changing of the heart. It also goes on to say that, and my servant keeping drawing nearer to me with voluntary works until I love him. What is the voluntary work today? Huh? The voluntary work is to deny yourself. See, we got to go to work on ourselves. We got to climb that mountain, which is the mountain of self-improvement. But you cannot do that involuntarily. Huh? You have to be willing to volunteer to give yourself to God. We have to deny part of ourselves so we don't ultimately negate ourselves. See, denying yourself, denying the nigga that you want to be, denying the beer you want to drink, denying the cigarettes you want to smoke, denying the club you want to go to, denying all these socially degenerate and immoral and decadent things so that I can be one with the Almighty God of love. So it says here, and my servant keeps drawing nearer to me with voluntary works, self-correction, until I love him. And then the law says, when I love him, then I am hearing that which he is. See, what is happening here? There's been a mind meld with God. There's been a spiritual will alignment with God. I ain't talking about the wheel on your car. I'm talking about the will. There's been a spiritual will alignment with God. I am hearing that which he is. His sight becomes my sight. What is the sight of God like? What does that look like when you hear what God hears? Huh? What does that look like? That means that you used to listen to socially degenerate things on the radio. Huh? Now the things that you used to hear, the things that used to get your ear, the foolishness, it no longer appeals to you because you hear that which God hears. Huh? What do you hear? You hear the plead of your people. You hear the crying hearts of the needy. You go where God would go. You see what God sees. What is it that God sees that most can't see today? Especially in a black man and woman in the hills of North America. What is it? My goodness. It's God and your brother and sister. Yes, come on, Most of us see niggas. Come huh? on, wow. Most of us see coons, right? On, Most of us see buffoons, right? Most of us see uh, uh, degenerate people. We hate ourselves so much. Wow. But when you become one with God, deny yourself, right? So you don't negate yourself. Then guess what? You see what he sees. You hear what he hears. And now all of a sudden, you are able to work with the mind and the might of God. Because the scripture always always says that his hand seizes what I see. Yes, now God is in you. What is it that God wants to see? What is it that God physically wants to put his hands on? It says that in the scripture that the fox... The bird has a nest and the fox has a hole, but the son of man has no place to lay his head. What does that mean? Does that mean you ain't got no pillow to lay on? No. That means your idea. What's in your head? Is it being put on the earth? You have no place to put your head, to idea, to lay your ideas, to lay your kingdom, to lay your beliefs. A place where your woman can walk and your children can walk without the tyranny of Caucasians and crackers and devils killing them in the street. Where is your idea, black man? Huh? It's time to bring your idea to fruition. It's time to lay our head and our idea on this earth today. We're going to have some of this 196 million, 940,000 square miles for us today. All praise to Allah. That's what a nation is all about. We are nation builders. Yes. But a nation can rise no higher than this woman. Is that right? That's right. Huh? So we got to uplift the black woman at all costs. Defend the black woman at all costs. That means you got to be a strong black man today at all costs. Is that right? We don't bend, by break, and relent. Far con is our example. One that's non-compromising, unyielding, forceful in power. All praises to God. The scripture says, when he walks, I walk. And it says, and if he asks of me, I will give unto him. And if he seeks refuge in me, I will protect him. Yes, so mighty FY, what do you feel? Huh? Is God in you? 
Is God in you? Yes, sir. Super soldiers, is God in you? Yes, sir. All praise is due to Allah. Because when God is in you, there's nothing to fear, brothers. Come on. Right. God is our protector. Right. There's right. no greater protector than God. There's no knife. There's no gun. There's no cannon. There's no missile. There's no carnal weapon that can do what God can do for you. Yeah. When God is closer to the enemy than his own juggler van. Come on. God can freeze the enemy in his tracks. Right. Got a gun in your head, can't even pull the trigger. Right. 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 Say, Allah got it. Huh? Oh, that's right. You take the gun, do this arm and that's see right. if it works for you. That's right. We don't carry carnal weapons in the nation of Islam, but if you pull one on us, on. we will take it out your hand and Come use it on you. On, yeah. 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 We are fearless black men. Yes, sir. See, brothers and sisters, our righteousness starts with love. That's right. Beautiful. It's love that gives you the power to overcome the enemy. Our righteousness goes beyond just mere law. Huh? Some of us got a fixation on law. Law, 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 law. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Huh? But the Honorable Mr. Louis Farquhar told us that laws are really for savages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. See, when you want to keep an animal that's a savage, you keep them out of general population, you put them in a restrictive cage. We have a restrictive law. For those of us who want to be savage. They don't know how to act. But once the animal's been tamed and made right where he can go among society, they release that creature, right? He's tamed, he's docile, he's civilized, right? See, right now we got laws, but we don't have love. Huh? See, because once we become really tame, then that means we are able to go out in society and love, not under the guise of law, but under the guise of righteousness. Beautiful. Moses came with the law, but Jesus was the fulfillment of the law. Beautiful. What does that mean? Beautiful. What does that mean, brothers and sisters? That means that we don't do righteous because we're afraid of getting caught. Huh? That's the animal in the cage. The moment you let him out of the cage, you're going to wild out. See, we in the mosque under restrictive law, and we do right because we don't want to get caught. You an animal in the cage. Yes, the moment the cage is gone, you wild now biting on people, eating people up, drinking beer, smoking, fornicating. Right? Huh? You wild now. You still a savage. But Jesus came. A man like the honorable Miss Lewis Farcom. A man that is so forgiving. A man that is really loving. Not in the carnal sense, but in a high spiritual moral sense. Huh? That means that when you have righteousness and love in your heart, the true creative force, the bonding essence of sisterhood, the, 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 the catalyst of brotherhood, when you have that, how can I cheat with my brother's wife if I love my brother? Come on now. See, the law automatically works. How can somebody offend the sister when I love my sister? How can someone come against the mosque when I love the mosque? When I love myself, how can I smoke? When I love my body and I know that there's a God in me, how can I smoke? How can I be degenerate? But what is missing in Muhammad's mosque and throughout the human sphere today is love missing. Yes, right. We don't love correctly. That's right. We don't love appropriately. Yes, we don't love efficiently. Come on. The kind of love that a woman has. Come on now. Perfect love. Man. A perfect love casts out all fear. Right. Take a woman three feet tall beating up bridge with beds. She in love. A perfect love. That's Come why Allah said we got so much we can learn from the woman, brother. Come on. Because we don't love like that, bro. Come on. I'm just being real with you. Come on. We don't have that long, enduring, powerful, nurturing, caring love. Come on. That is like the love of God. Come on. Ever forgiven. Come on. But we can have that today, brothers. Our righteousness shall yes. what? Sustain us. Sustain us. Yes, and it will sustain us if we have that dutiful, powerful love, brothers and sisters. Never give up. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep God in your heart. Yes, sir. Keep his favor and his will on your mind. Love God with a, with a powerful tenacity and never give up. And that's why I want to uh, let you know, brothers and sisters, that we love you here, Muhammad's Mars. We have a dutiful work to you. We're not going to give up. We're long enduring because the race is not to the fast and to the swift, but to those who can endure to the end. Is that right? So we don't want to see nobody just running around real fast around here saying, oh yeah, I've been in the mosque for two weeks and we ain't doing enough. Huh? What can you do? 
what can you do? That's right. Huh? What can you give to your nation? What kind of work? What kind of love? What kind of dedication? What kind of resilience? What kind of honor? What kind of integrity? This non-yielding, non-faltering that won't bend, bow, break, keep going, go the distance. Y'all know the Rocky song. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Y'all know it, right? Yes, huh? Where that Rocky at in your spirit? Come on, Where that man. soul in your spirit? Anytime somebody can make a movie about a damn Italian stallion white boy right. beating up Mr. T, that's a hell of a spirit. Come on. Huh? Come on. White boy beating up God? That's a white boy that never gave up. But let me tell you today, you the underdog today, brothers and sisters. On, right? A white man is like a powerful God. But you the underdog. And all you got to do is have that same spirit yeah. rise up. Put on your trunks. Put on your glove. Yeah. Let's go to war with this damn devil. Yeah. And come on. Come on. I don't pray you do too long. Muhammad got the devil on the run. That's right. Farrakhan got the come devil on, on the run. That's, right. That's why I love our principal speaker that's coming up. Our principal speaker is going to come up talking about how the devil is on the run today. Yes. And your spirit is going to be so filled, yes. so rejuvenated, so emancipated from the social degradation that we saw for so long. <laughs> But right now, before he comes up, for a student, Minister Tony from California, before that beautiful brother comes up, I'm bringing up another beautiful brother, a young brother, a brother that works courageously for you in this city. I watch what the brother does, brothers and sisters. I'm not blowing smoke. He's a talented brother, and the beautiful thing about him is he's made this into a mosque of a thousand posts. A mosque of a thousand posts. That's freedom, justice, and equality. Right. You ain't got to sit back and say, oh, the lieutenant won't let me let me. Oh, the grumpy first officer won't let me let me. Man, the hell with what somebody ain't going to let If it's right, do it. On, if it's right, do it. That's you don't need permission to do right. You got to ask somebody permission to do the right thing. That's the kind of spirit this student minister has. And that's why the student when student minister Tony came through, student minister Shahid told me that student minister called him. He said, man, would you please mount the roster? That's a real student minister that's trying to avail you to the knowledge of great ministers in our nation. He ain't holding back. He ain't afraid. He ain't insecure. We all got something to offer. All right, my brothers and sisters? So give a thunderous round of applause for my brother, your brother, our brother in the faith, student minister brother, Al Shahid Muhammad. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that he appeared among us in the personage of Master Farad Muhammad on July 4th, 1930. That he traveled 9,000 miles to raise up one who is the exalted Christ, meaning that he has the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to crush all of our enemies. And the two of them left a divine reminder in our midst the modern day Jesus, in my opinion, and the hard work, Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. It is in their names and in their spirit that I greet the visitors and guests and the believers in the greeting words of peace and paradise. Allah salam alaikum. Alaikum salam, sir. How's everyone feeling? Alaykum, sir. I pray y'all in the Savior's Day spirit because the Savior came for us. Come on. And He didn't come to make us mediocre. That's right. He came to make us the best yeah. and to build, rebuild our confidence up in ourselves. That's right. In the scripture in Luke 19, 41 through 44, it says, Now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept. When the coming of the MACD came, said when around early 1900, he sat on the corner looking at our conditions in New York City and wept. Because he had an expectation coming from the Holy Kingdom of what we should be doing and what we should look like mm. and how we should be operating. He seen our condition and he said that he sat on the corner and wept. Wow. I want you to think about that. So the scripture says, now as he drew near, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, if you had known, even you, especially in this, your day, the things that make your peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the day will come upon you when your enemy will build an embarkment around you, surround you, and close you in on every side. What are we seeing today? 
The enemies are standing up and they're coming to attack the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Right. The hard-working Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Right. Yes, sir. And when they attack the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, they are attacking the nation of Islam. That's right. That's right. That's right. Which means that they are the enemies of Almighty God, Allah. Right. We say that Allah came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, right? Yes, sir. He said that he'll travel a mile, he'll travel a mountain 40 miles high to save how many? Yes, One. That's love. That's love. How many of us will walk 40 steps to save one? Uh, uh. Let alone 40 miles to save one. How many, of, how many of us will eat rattlesnakes to save one? That's the type of love that we gotta have for each other. How do you know? Or how can you love God who you never seen? And hate your brother and sister who you see every day? That doesn't make sense, does it? No, sir. When we say that we are the children of God, yes, sir. that we are the children of the Most High, that we are made in the image and likeness of our Creator, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us in the supreme wisdom that we all are Allah. Yes. Uh. Yes. I want you to think on that one and marinate on that. If we all are Allah, and we get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, who are we communicating with? Come on. Come on. That when we get amongst each other, we, we start to spit from the rocks. When we start talking, you be like, oh, brother, I was thinking about that today. Right. Who is you praying to Come on. if we all are Allah? We all are in tune with each other as long as we are in tune with the Creator. Yes. We don't need a cell phone to talk to each other. Have you ever thought about somebody and they call you on a cell phone? Right. Yes, and you say, damn, but I was just thinking about you. I was just about to call you. Yes, you cleaning up. Your heart is becoming pure. You're sending messages without even knowing. So that Jesus said in this day that the enemy will be around us and they will surround us on every side and level you and your children within you to the ground and they will leave you one stone upon another because you did not know the time of your visitation. Mm -hmm. Who came among us and raised us up? Come on now. You ain't never seen black people be activated like this since 1930? Come on. Come on. Where we are the most proactive group of, of black people in America. Yes. That's right. That's right. We are the hope and inspiration of a fallen people. Yes. A fallen God That's right. that needs to be resurrected. There are no intercessions between us and our people anymore. There are no there, are, there is no competition. It's just the nation of Islam and the enemy right now. So we gotta stand up, we gotta gird our loins. Right. We got to get back to the basics of why we're here. Yes, sir. The minister said we need to remember how we was when we first fell into the mob. Right. We need that spirit. Yes, when we see the new white blood cell coming to our ecosystem, mm -hmm. and they start tearing it up, you know what I'm saying? They start purifying our old blood come cells. On, come on. Accept the challenge. Yes. And purify yourself. Mm -hmm. The Holy Quran said that the believers love coming to a mosque that's founded on duty. Right. To, continue, to, to be continually purified from each other. Mm -hmm. Who else is going to purify us but us? Who else is coming for us but us? We the last one standing, family. We just got to accept right. the challenge right. and accept right. our responsibility. That's and it. get busy. Right. And build a nation. Right. That's our right. sole purpose. Mm -hmm. To bring our people to the Lamb of God and build a nation and get them something to do. Mm -hmm. All of our people, all of our educators, all of, all of those who are skilled in the trade. Mm -hmm. All of those who are skilled in the needle craft and the sisters are sewing now, right? Now. right. I don't think y'all see what the minister is saying when you got the sisters sewing now. Come man, on. we're trying to take over the world, man. We can't be thinking no small time stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Praise be to a lot of small time Come stuff is supposed to work out, and we should have a corner store to work out in so we can learn how to do business. Come on. Right. Just like when you see the brother out on the corner selling the final car, he's learning his interpersonal skills with people who don't like him. Right. He has to make a sacrifice for his family, putting himself in harm's way to save you and I. Right. I don't want you to think the little brother on the corner selling the paper. He's not a little brother. Come on. Let me get the language right. He's a God. Right. He's sent to save his people. Right. He has something in him that whoever pulls up on him smoking a blunt or drinking something in the car or just came from the strip club, he may have that word for them that lifts them up and they be in here the next day. Right. So when they come in here, how do we accept them? Right. With open arms, with right. smiles, and we're happy, we, we let them know. That's right. This That's is right. the place you come to get purified. This is your home. Right. This is the epic center of knowledge in our community. This is the light of the people. No backbiting and gossip going on That's up in right. here. Right. We have rules and regulations to keep this harmonious That's and to right. keep us righteous. Right. Master Farad Muhammad said it's a structure that forms our behavior. Yes. So the structure of Islam, the structure of the nation of Islam is our success as well as the restrictive laws. Yes, right. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Praise be to Allah. Y'all all right? Yes, yes, sir. Well, I don't want to take up too much time because I definitely want to bring up our principal speaker. I've learned a lot from this brother over the years. It's just so funny. I came into the nation in 2004. My first national trip was the Middle <coughs> Movement in 2005. And guess who I ran into? Minister Tony and Brother Jabril. Wow. And as y'all know, I've always done music. And he supported the music at the time. And I got a picture, old school picture of me and him on the mall. It's just so funny. Then when I started to get on the post, guess who's in Dallas? Uh, Minister Tom. Yes, sir. And he's feeding, he's feeding me and not knowing that he's feeding me by telling me his experiences and, and the things that he went through, not only in the nation, but just life in general. That's right. And so I'm listening to him, and I'm trying to hold back my tears. He's sitting at Brother Julius' house because it's like he knows me. Right. And I know that's in law, a lot in him sharpening me up right. for what I have to face in the future. That's right. Right. That's right. And knowing my mind. And how I think. Because yes, yes. I can get thugged out at times. Oh. But I try to keep my composure. Y'all yes. understand? Yes. It hadn't always been a clean shaven brother. A right. clean cut brother. Right. Right. I'm the product of a 14 year old in the ghetto. With no father and no one there to guide me. Raised by dope dealers and dope fiends That's in my right. family. So to see me come here. Right. And to see the elevation. To, to see me even go to school. Was a blessing for the brothers in the hood when I went back. And so when they see me, they can't believe me. That's right. Cleaned up. Do you understand? I say, brother, I heard a word. I read a book that woke me up. Yes, right. sir. That got me thinking about my people different. That's right. right. That got me knowing why we got in this condition, how we got in this condition. Come on, man. That this is not our fault. See. So we can't judge each other. That's right. We got to be able to look past our faults Come and see on. the good in every last one of us. Why is the devil set on the best part of the planet Earth? Right. Because we don't care about the poor part. Right. So we shouldn't care about the poor part in our brother and sister. Come on. Right. Right. And that's what I'm learning from Minister Tony. Yes, sir. Through his travels through Dianetics, how he explains it and how he relates it to the supreme wisdom and yes, the teachings of the Most High yes, Elijah Muhammad. Yep. This is a brother who's been traveling with the minister for over three decades. Do you understand? Come on, what kind of sacrifice is that? What type of commitment is that? Yeah. Come on. Come on. That he wants to see it to the end. That's right. Do you understand yes, me? Sir. The minister has put something in him for us. Just That's like right. he's put something in all of us for us. That's right. But he's a special brother to me. Yes, sir. For, for what I said earlier. And he gave and he gave me exactly what I need. So without further ado, yes, I want to bring up my brother, your brother. The regional minister of the West Coast, oh, student oh, minister, oh, Tony Muhammad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Some alaikum. Well, In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. To that one who is the creator of all things and to him who is the revealer of all great and sacred truth. Dear family, I don't care how old any of us get to be in this wicked world's life. There's not one person in this room that have enough breath in our body to thank Almighty God Allah, that one who created the heavens and the earth, that one who sent these great men and women in a mighty line of divine. You don't have enough breath in your body to thank God for not one of his servants, but let us today, let us be found thanking God that these three great monotheistic religions all claim Abraham as the father. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. Yes sir. yes, sir. You have those that are Jews who say Abraham yes, sir. is our father. Right. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. Yes, sir. Then you can walk across the street and the Christians are singing their songs all day and they say, hold up. Abraham is our daddy too. Right. So here you have the Jews saying that their root is in Abraham. You have the Christians saying that their root is in Abraham. Then you walk a couple of blocks and see them strange Muslims. Come on. They say, hold on. 
Right. Abraham be our pappy too. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. That's beautiful. Yes, sir. That these three great religions all claim Abraham as the father. That's right. So if the root is in Abraham, the question becomes, how in the heck did we grow to be the biggest religious gangbangers on the planet? Come on. Come on. Good teacher. Good, Good teacher. Question. Wake us up. Please. How do we get so divided? Come on, man. Good question. That if Abraham was here, if Moses was here, if Jesus was here, if Muhammad was here, all of them would say, why y'all tripping? Come on. We are all from the same God who had a message for the people and the circumstances that they was under during our time. So God sent the same message in an evolved way. So I thank God for these great servants of his. Oh, but today, Dallas, Texas. Yes, right. Come on. Come on, bro. Man, I came down here. <laughs> I came down here. Right. I'm sorry, I ain't come down here. Here, you wouldn't know what I was talking about. Right. I came down here. <laughs> to give y'all some good news. Y'all need some good news out of the right. Texans right. lost their game. Right. We need some good news in a wicked world like what we living in. Today. I came to bring you some good news. Are you sure you want some good news? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we have an inkling to always want to peek in the garbage can for bad news. Mm. Huh? Good, that's all. I came to bring you some good news. Well, what's the good news? Good question. I came to say to you from a mighty teacher who loved you so deeply mm -hmm. that you don't have enough hate for the love he had for you right. to stop Ooh. him from loving you. Good teacher. Good teacher. Good teacher. I came to let you know, Dallas, Texas, that you have not been forsaken. Mm -hmm. God has loved the black man and woman in America so much so he came out of high to get you himself. Right. Mm -hmm. I came to tell you that there's a man going around He knows who to heal That's right. and who to blame. Yes, sir. Come on. I came to tell you that Jesus told you something was going to happen. Yes. Come on. Jesus saw us coming into bondage, fam. Mm. And the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, when you learn how to read the coded language and get through the metaphors and the allegory on, and learn how to get through the tricks that the Europeans put in the Bible. Come on, bro. Come on. Good you you would see that this book of scripture. Mm. That's right. Book of what? Scripture. Now hold on. Let me let me let me warn y'all about me. I don't like preaching. Go ahead. Y'all can add it. There's enough of that going on, and ain't nothing changed in the room. I came today to teach you. We turning this into a classroom. Right. So I may have to ask you some questions to yes, see sir. if you listen. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes, sir. So you're going to participate with me today. Right. right. So that's my little style. Yes, sir. But I want to tell you some good news that this book, the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation is all about you. Did you know that? Wow. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Good teach, Black history. Huh? Yes, sir. There's a man going around. Taking that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus said to his disciples, It's expedient that I go away. For if I go not away, he, the comforter, cannot come. Right. The disciples look perplexed, saying, Wait a minute, aren't you the one? Mm. See? But listen at what Jesus said. Come on, Christian. I want you, for the first time in your life, to stop going by your Bible and go in it. Come on. Yeah. Good 
good teaching. Good teaching, brother. Mom. I just go buy my Bible. That's your problem. You need to go in the Bible. Right. Open it up and read. That's right. Come on, big brother. Listen to what I said. Read. Yes, sir. One of the derivations of read is take on the mind of what you read. But most of us can't read. We know how to pronunciate. Come on. Praise Pronouncing words is not reading. That's right. Come on. That's mimicry. That's right. But read. When you read the Quran, are you taking on the mind of God? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Huh? Are you part God and part Negro? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. He said, expedient that I go away, for if I go and not away, he, the comforter, cannot come. The disciples are looking perplexed. Wait a minute. Aren't you the one? And Jesus said, as much I can tell you. But you can't bear it right now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. And listen to this. Bring all things back to your remembrance. Wait a minute. Wow. What is it that a group of people was going to forget that they need to remember? Wow. See, Jesus knew he was 2,000 years ahead of his time because black people had not yet come into bondage in America. Come on. Right. Good teacher. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. He knew prophecy. He knew we had not yet got here. God had his mind so open that he allowed Jesus to see down the wheels of time. Right. Mm -hmm. wow. He didn't call America America in the Bible, but he knew the animal America was going to use as its logo. Good teaching. Wow. Good teaching. Come on. Good teaching. <laughs> Come on, big brother. So Jesus said to them little dumb disciples. <laughs> <laughs> he said as lightning in the book of Matthew shines from the east even until the west see 2,000 years ago America was not here this was nothing but wilderness Come on, but Jesus knew prophecy he knew that a people had to go into bondage they had to lose their name they would lose their language they would lose their culture he had not yet found that come on brother good teaching so he said, as lightning shine from the east, even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Yes, sir. The disciples are looking at him, what you talking about? Then Jesus went on and said, well, wherever the eagle is gathered, there the cockers shall be. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Now, let me give you some uh, theology 101. Huh? As I'm teaching today, for every physical manifestation, I try to build a picture with you. Right. I'm going to give you physical manifestations of things because the Bible is full of farm terminology. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right. You hear about a lot of animals up in yes, here. Sir. God ain't interested in no animal. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan told me, brother, for every physical manifestation you read in the Bible, it has a mental and spiritual counterpart. That's it. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So wherever the eagle is gathered, what is the symbol of America? Eagle. There, the cockers shall be. Who is that? See? Yes, sir. Can you imagine finding a dead body on the corner of ML King out here and bringing that dead body and sitting it on the floor? What, what is it going to do? It ain't going to do nothing. Will it be able to move? No, sir. Okay. Well, if that's the physical manifestation of death, what is the spiritual manifestation? Good teaching. What is the mental manifestation of death? Come on. Well, the spiritual manifestation of death is a people who have been unplugged from God and has had a God that they used to have changed to another God. That's yes, it. Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Come on. What is the mental, mental manifestation of a carcass? 
one who used to have a name and giving it up for their slave master's name. Yeah. Yes, Think about it. Did our name get took from us? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, black dad. Let's talk black to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you're scared, get up out of here. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh? Did the white man take our name? Yes, yes sir. sir. Did he take our religion? Yes, yes sir. sir. Did you ever ask him why? No, no sir. sir. No, sir. Did he take our language? Yes, yes sir. sir. There's a man going around. Take your name. Take your name. Love it. Why, Cracker? Why did you take our name? What did you know that was so important about a name that you removed the name of our ancestors? And gave me your last name. The only name my mother had a choice in was my first name. Come on. Every one of us, whatever your last name is, leads you back to the plantation where your ancestors were. And that's why when you come to job and fill out an application, the white man laughs when he sees you sign his name. And he says in his mind, my nigga. <laughs> Because when a woman marries a man, sister, whatever your name were, you give up that name to take on his name. And your children have to wear the name of the real man in the house. Who's the real man in black life? Good question. It depends on whose name you wear. There's a man going around taking names. Oh, man, I'm so fired up today. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to do, man. I'm in love with me some Farrakhan. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm so deeply in love with a man that came. That's right, Muhammad. That's right. 9,000 miles. His name is Master Far That's Muhammad. Right. That's right. Yes, sir. Huh? We were told that a man was going to come and Caucasians have been looking among wise Caucasians, not any old crackers. Some of these crackers as dumb as we are. Excuse me, let me apologize. No, I don't want to say crackers because some of y'all got white friends. I don't want a white friend that can't hear my truth. That's our problem. We've been pussyfooting around white people yeah, too much. Right. Right. Worried too much about how they feel about what we think. We don't want to hurt their feeling, but we'll hurt each other. Come on. Yes, sir. There's a man going around. This man, Master Farad Muhammad, we believe that he is the return of the spirit of the Jesus of 2,000 years ago. That's right. This man, Master Farad Muhammad, we believe that he is God in the person. Right. Yes, sir. <gasps> Come on. That's right. That's right. All Christians, walk with me now. Yes, sir. Why is it that you ain't spooky about nothing else but your religion? Come on. Think about it. Think about it. Huh? How can God be real and interested in my affair? Mm -hmm. Come on. And if God is not a man, why do you call him he? Mm -hmm. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. Think about it. Why are you using the personal pronoun he? Call him it. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Why did the white man remove the reality of God we had before we met them? And do you know we are the only ethnic group that worship a deity that don't look like us? Think about it. Yes, sir. Think about it. That's why every other ethnic group look at us and say, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Go to China. Their deity look like them. Go to Japan. Their deity look like them. Go to Zoroastra, that deity look like them. Right. We're the only fools that got a deity that look like the man that put us in chain. Right. 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 That's the man. Going around. Taking names. 
this man, Master Farad Muhammad, and I say to my Christian pastors when we meet regularly, I ask them the question, did not God and the prophet see us coming into bondage? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I thank God for coming in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. That's right, I thank him for finding for us a Georgia-born black man by the name of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. It is written in the Bible when God was talking to Moses about a similar circumstance of a future people. In Deuteronomy, God was talking to Moses saying these words. And he was speaking in the third. He was saying, Moses, there's going to be a people in the same condition of the children of Israel that you are over. Then God in Deuteronomy said, and when I find them, I'm going to raise one up from among them and he's going to be like you. Come on, man. come on. Good team. Moses scratching his head. Wait a minute. It's going to be a people in the future like us? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And I'm going to raise one from among them. That's right. See? God said he's going to do it. That's right. Right. Yeah. I think because our problem is want our oppressor to send us a leader. Mm. Come on. Come on. Every time God has come to a people in bondage, he has never sent some stranger who don't know that people's pain. It's like in L.A. You can't go to the hood and you don't know hood pain. How much you going to help the hood? Nigga, please. That's right. Good teacher, bro. Good teacher. And you come back with your fixed education yes. telling the hood, hi, how are you? Yes. <laughs> you are like, man, who, who, who is this fool? There you go. There you go. Keep it 100. The leader you get is not going to come from Harvard. I'm sorry. That's right. That's right. That's right. The leader God gives you is not going to come from Yale. He's not going to come from the University of Texas. And I'm sorry, he definitely ain't coming from Morehouse because they don't make men there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I respect Morehouse. Got a lot of good brothers. But Morehouse make Morehouse niggas. Wow. There you go. That's right. That's absolutely right. So do Texas Southern. So do Southern. So do Marsh Brown. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Right. Y'all ain't mad at me, are you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some are. Some are. Turn it up. So I say to my Christian pastors, if God is not a man, what is he? Good question. I thank you for raising that Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad only had a third grade to fourth grade education fulfilling that part of scripture where it reads, how is this man who's not lettered learned? Who taught Elijah Muhammad, a Georgia-born black man from the country? Come on. Boy, I'm glad he's from the South. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Grew up in the South in the early 20s. And back in the 1910, I mean, where crackers was really hard. Right. Come on. Elijah Muhammad. Born in a manger. Mm. Mm. Wow. I some of y'all look lost. Yes, <laughs> some of you don't even know what a manger on, is. You've been right. singing the damn song every Christmas. <laughs> Born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothing. What is that? What is a manger? See? Don't make up nothing. We don't want no Ebonics definition. Manger is, one of its definitions is rural area. Or a wooded area. An area where a lot of animals feed. Manger. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad was born in the rural area. Sandersville, Georgia, born on a farm. What do you mean wrapped in swaddling clothing? Meaning you're wrapped in such a teaching that won't loose you from your slave master. See? You're segregated, so you're restricted in your movement. Well, all right? Born on manger. I don't know about 
you, brother. But if somebody came to tell me that God has not forsaken us and God has raised one from among us, we should be shouting to the top of our lungs. Right. 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 We should be saying, oh, God, you mean you raised somebody for the children of Israel and you've raised somebody for us? Right. Thank you, God. Yes. Right. And when I find them, I'm going to raise one from among them. That Elijah Muhammad was so wise, he was so one with yes. God yes. Yes. that in the relationship with God, he had become a sheep. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mentally and spiritually. Mm. Wow. So God could do to the honorable Elijah Muhammad what we do to the womb of a woman. Right. He could impregnate his mind with yes. wisdom. Uh, shooting the sperm of life in his mind and from his mind Elijah gave birth to a son yeah. uh, and that son is to rule with the rod of iron and I don't know about you brother but I didn't grow up to have no punk daddy That's right. I don't want to follow no faggot leader and I ain't trying to hurt nobody feeling in the LBGTQRSP WXYZ community. I ain't mad at you if that's your lifestyle. It is colloquial. When I say faggot, I mean weak people. Right. Don't get it twisted. I don't know about you, brother. The same way I pick the hood that I want to belong to is the way I should choose my religion. There you go. I want it to be strong. I want it to be fortified. I want it to love me so I love it and make me into a man. I found that man. This child sees a hard time. Is there any help for the widow's son? In comes Farrakhan. Born with it and given a rod of iron, his teachings, man, is impenetrable. You can't bend Farrakhan. I don't care nothing about all the other leaders. Come on now. Give me some fire. Yes. He's the only black leader that Caucasians can't break. Come on. I respect Al Sharpton, but they got it. I respect Jesse, but he messy. Yes, sir. I ain't too much with Cruffalo. He need too many dollars. Come on now. TJ. I don't know about you. You 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 ride around with president. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. And you don't tell us what you're talking about. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You went to dinner in the White House for what? Some chicken? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I don't know if I want a leader that's going to depend on the white man to take care of you. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. We respect you. Oh, but give me some Farrakhan because when you look at Minister Farrakhan and look at Jesus, you'll see some similarities. When you look at Minister Farrakhan and see Moses, you'll say, my God, he act like him too. When you look at Farrakhan and study Nat Turner, you'll be like, damn. Yes, sir. When you look at Farrakhan and see Harriet Tubman, you say, oh my God, there she go. When you look at Farrakhan and see Soldier of Truth, you see Farrakhan because he's trying to get us out of bondage. That's right. So in their holy yes, sir. and righteous name, Come on, man. let me greet you, mighty Dallas, Texas, in the greeting words of peace, in one of your forgotten languages. Come on, brother. I'm sorry, this language don't belong to the light-skinned, damn near yes, white sir. Arab. We got to talk to them after we get through with these white folks. That's right. That's right. Everybody walking around. That's right. In our birthright. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on, big brother. That's right. Everybody has stripped us of our raiment. Yes, sir. And has taken on our clothing. Here we are, the naked truth, while everybody walking around a well dressed up lie. Right. Well, I hope y'all ready. I, I came here today to be real serious, man. So can I can I keep it one hundred? Yes, sir. <laughs> Greet you in the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, to my dear brother Al Shahi. 
I love this young brother. You know, we we are making an investment in him. Yes, sir. You know, brothers and sisters, let me say this to the say this. <laughs> when you're investing in something, you don't get the return the first week. That's right. That's right. When something has value, it gets better with time. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. See? It's a lot the teaching of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is perfect. That's right. It's right and exact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The mosque is a mental hospital. Come on, bro. And every one of us has a mental problem. Everybody up in here crazy. Oh, hold on. I'm the only one? Huh? We all got a mental problem. How can you live in the white man's world and be a little retarded? Right, so I ain't crazy. Uh, yeah. See, right there tells me you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no? You ain't crazy. What's your name? Uh, you crazy? Say you name. got amnesia. That's not your name. Come on, brother. You ain't crazy. Where you from? That's right. You've been a hostage so long, you done now taken on the spirit of your slave master. That white man so good at stealing, he stole you, and you don't even realize he stole him. That's a good thing. I want to be able to steal like that. In reverse. So I thank Allah. I mean, you all got a spirit down here that's like, un it's matchless. Because the black man in the South, the minister said to me, brother, when that black man and that woman in the South wake up, it's over. Oh, because wherever the greatest amount of oppression is, producers are great people. Yes, sir. It might not look like it to you. But greatness is going to come up out of this. Yes. 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 That's why we're invested in Brother Al Shahid. Yes. Yes. He ain't perfect. Right. And neither are you. Right. Right. In fact, you don't even want perfect. Uh -huh. You wouldn't be able to take it. Right. That's true. A lot in this Holy Quran say, if you was angels, I would have sent you an angel. Come on, man. But you niggas. <laughs> Yes, so I got to put one up in front of you Come who on. comes up out of yes. nigga dumb. Yes. 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 That's what I said, nigga dumb. That's a cat <laughs> Williams. <word. laughs> I hate preachers who act self-righteous. Come on. God can talk to them and nobody else. Come on. Come on. God wants a personal relationship with each and every one of you up in here. Come on, man. You ain't got to go through nobody pray for you. Pray for yourself. Come on, man. You ain't got God's number. I can give you his number. You can text him. Right. Oh, 19, 19, 19. Last two letters is 13. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. I learned that today from Brother Tony. Praise Come on, brother. So thank you, Brother Shaheed, and the mighty labors of That's Muhammad's right. Mosque Beautiful. number 48. Come on, thank you. But I want to let you know what you got in your ranks. Mm. There's about five groups of people. We, the minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, of whom I was with a couple of weeks ago, he said, brother, when you go in front of my fathers, tell them and express to them the deep love that I have for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I am willing on a moment's notice to give my life for the suffering masses of black people in this country and throughout the world. He said that my life would be meaningless if I didn't have the believers to serve. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. 
He said, and if you can, muster it up in your spirit and give them a greetings in the manner you think I would do it. So let me fix myself a bit. And I want to give you the greetings from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan of Assalamu alaikum. Bless you, sir. I shall, and in that spirit. Yes, sir. Now, for those who are guests who wondering why the hell they just stood up. <laughs> Come on. You wouldn't have asked that in the courtroom. <laughs> when this cracker comes out in a black robe to give you 90 years. And you hear the word what? All right. I mean, look, if I was a criminal getting ready to get 90 years, I ain't getting up. <laughs> All right, standing up, you about to give me 90 man to help with him. We stand out of respect That's right. to show the world that for the first time in our black life, we will stand for a white, a black man as quick as we would a white man. Right. 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 So when we hear the name of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who gives us a greeting, we stand and want yes. every greeting turned back to him yes. because we have given up on every black leader in America. Yes. Right. Yes. And we let them go down that road when they get attacked and God didn't punish us. But him, he going to punish us for yes. if we let the enemy keep attacking yes. Minister Farrakhan and the black community don't say nothing. Yes. Right. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. So I want to thank you. I want to thank the brother, Brother James and Brother Tony X. I mean, you all spirit is just beautiful. Yes, sir. And I ask the members of the nation, let us beg God, because when you came to Muhammad, you brought your head. Yes, sir. But your head is the best part of you. The only question is, is what's settled there? Yes. Right. Yes. Because when Muhammad took that Mecca and he went into the Kaaba, what did he find? Idols. 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 Hundreds of them. Yes, sir. That's right. What did Farrakhan find in your head when you join the nation? You say there is but one God and you're right. But how many is in your head? Good teach. Good teach. Come on now. Come on. Because envy is a God. Yes, sir. Jealousy is a God. Self-hatred is a God. So when your brother or sister shine, how do you feel? Who talks? Yeah. Who talks? Come on. Come on. Who she thinks she is with that pretty gum? Sister, drive up in a Bentley. Are you happy about it? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Are you wondering where she got it from? Come on. Come on. Come on. Brother, we are talented. Each one of you, the minister said, every black person has a gift that's uniquely yours and can't nobody take it. That's right. Nobody. There's nobody like you. Each one of us brings something to the endeavor. That's right. See? So you have to mind out what your gift is so that you won't fall victim to the envy and jealousy of your brother or your sister's gift. That's right. So the mosque, the mosque is the spiritual and mental washing machine for the black community. And we can't clean you unless it's some black people up in here that's going to agitate you. Man, I'm feeling so Can I walk and talk? seem too far from me. I'm going to come down. Walk it out. Come on, man. Let the gods have that. I'm trying to become a god. That's right. Man, I'm feeling y'all, man. Look. Look. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know them dirty clothes? Yes, sir. I mean, they be dirty if you don't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. If you take some dirty jeans 
and put them in the washing machine and put detergent in it, put bleach in it, turn the water on, but not the machine, and just come back, take them out, and put them on. Are they clean or dirty? They dirty. How does the clothes get clean? Agitation. Friction. Yes. Right. Yes, How do you get a diamond out of coal? Come on. Friction. Yes. Come on, big brother. Come, Come on, on, big brother. Yes. Because it has piles of soot and dirt on it. Well, how did we come to God? We came to God with different minds, the lies of the white man. We believe we ain't nothing. We believe Santa Claus is God. We believe in the good tooth fairy. We believe in a damn bunny rabbit. We are caked up under lies, and the real you is buried under the white man's name, under the white man's religion. So when you come to the nation, we have to agitate you. So you're in the ranks with your sister, everybody ain't gonna greet you. Come on! Right. 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 Some greetings right. right. ain't gonna be sweet. Right. Some right. greetings gonna be I so wanna let go. Yes. Some greetings gonna be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Three that they came to follow. They don't see problem. They are the 
Come on, black man. Come on, black man. Come on, black man. Then you got a group called the believers, you got to constantly remind them. Mm -hmm. And they'll come through, but you got to constantly remind them. But then you got that weak group mm -hmm. that's got a foot in the mouth and a foot in the world. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Then there's another group called hypocrites. Woo. Yeah. Oh, Woo. We don't know who they are, we just see their product. And what is the product of a hypocrite? A weak believer. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then there's another group called FBI agents. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on now. And guess what else we found now? There's another group that's been sitting here by the Jews. Yes, right. Sir. Yes, sir. Talk to them, brother. That's Come right. On. And the FBI agent know everybody in the boss that don't like each other because yes, you talk to them. Come on, right. Or you text them and I don't like such and such. Right. The FBI agent says, okay, right. sister, make sure that those two never befriend each other. Yeah. Right. Uh, Come on. This is why in the nation. We should be like this. Yes, sir. When an unrighteous person brings you, they don't know how to You're supposed to look carefully in there. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Holy Quran said, and take good news to the believers. Yes, well, why y'all taking all this bad news? You know what? We should go on an ear fast. That's right. How do you do an ear fast? Don't call me. Or text me no bad news. Watch your phone stop ringing. Brother in the hood can't come up and tell no bad news. He don't know what to say. No, really, examine your conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much of it was positive? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, do you know what bad news do to your heart, your spleen, mm -hmm. your kidney, oh, your lungs? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Wow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And do you know what good news do to your heart, your spleen, yes, your lungs, your spleen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know the strength of a smile and Come the degradation on. of a frown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. You should practice smiling more. You'll live longer. Come on. Right. True. 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 There's a man <laughs> going around. Praise be to Allah. To the believers. Yes, sir. Walk your pose. Come on. In a perfect manner. Yes, sir. Keep it always on the alert. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. The nation is being pruned by God. Go no, ahead. Right. So don't worry about who ain't here. Just worry about who's here. That's right. That's right. That's right. And build this mosque because in truth, in three years, we should be owning Dallas. Oh, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We can unite every hood in Dallas. It's time now for us to go out among our people yes. and get them. Yes. Right. Come on. The minister said, brother, they have sent men and women, FBI agents, they're paying them big money mm. to break up Mars 48. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And some of us have really serious problems with each other, but we let our pain yes. make us a tool yes. for the FBA. Come on, black man. Yes. Come on, brother. Come on. Yes. Like, we don't know how to keep our pain ourselves. Yes, mm -hmm. yes sir. Everybody, you got to stop. The whole mob got to stop. Because yes. you hurt. <laughs> Ask yourself this question. God. What is it about this pain you brought my way? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. The minister told me, brother, when God allows you to go through That's pain, right. come on, because there's something about you he's trying to That's find right. tune. Oh, praise the Lord. Come on now. It ain't the pain that you're suffering, it's the reason why. Come on, yes. Yes. Come on. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Maybe you're arrogant and he's trying to get you to be humble. Come on. Right. Come on. Which area is it? 
Now, let me get into my lecture. I don't know what. I don't know Go ahead. Teach. 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 Brothers and sisters, I'm going to try to do this as quick as possible. Because this is a classroom. Yes, sir. Can I get some water? Yes, sir. Brother, you y'all having a hard time with them cameras? I'm walking all around. Thank you, sir. You got glass you can put that in? Yes, sir. <laughs> Drinking all out your neck. Kind of keying me in. Uh, right. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Go ahead. I love to believe. Right. Uh, and I love me some black people, some brown people, Native Americans. Man. I love them. Yes, sir. Look. Here is some things I want you to take under consideration. There's three barriers to learning. Come on, Mohammed. Come on. Come on. Three barriers. Mm -hmm. One is when you're being taught and you can't see the thing that's being taught on. Look at that. Mm -hmm. If I was teaching you on a tractor, I need to have a tractor here so you can see it. That's yeah. right. yeah. You know how we say it in the hood, see what I'm saying? No, I don't see what you're saying. <laughs> But if I can see it, right. it brings more reality That's to right. what you're telling me. Right. 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 Number two is the misunderstood word. Oh, yes. Come on, so if I show you a word or we read a Bible verse and you go by a word you don't know, mm -hmm. then everything before that gets erased. Yes, That's why the biggest problem in the black community is reading and comprehension. Yes. Uh -huh. The teacher can have you read a paragraph and you pronounce all the words right there. She said, well, tell me what that's saying. And you be like, uh, hold on. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Number three is too steep a gradient. Right. That's right. Meaning, yeah. you ever get a bicycle or you get something, you get the instructions on how to fix it, but you're a smart Negro. Yeah. yeah. You don't think you need the instruction? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You fix the bike, you know, your wife done bought the bike, you acting like you know, and you fix the bike, and when you finish, it's about 18 screws left. <laughs> and you don't know where the hell they go. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So if the instructions go from one to nine, you start off with one, two, three, and you skip four and five and go to six, that's called skipping a grade. So I want to teach you in the way to where when you leave here, you're going to walk away with the subject on your mind. Right. Mm -hmm. Or what we're trying to convey on your mind. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes, sir. Because we are people who have been robbed. Yes. Robbed. Yes. robbed. Yes. Spoiled. Yes. And hidden where? In prison house. That's right. So there's all this fuss about the Honorable Minister Louis Farr. Come on, bro. The Jewish community is really beginning to attack Brother Farrakhan. Yes, sir. And when I met with some Christian pastors in Los Angeles, and I'm sitting with them, I'm saying, wait a minute, pastor, didn't your Jesus have a problem with the same group? Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, any, anybody Christian in here? Don't raise your hand. But if you are Christian, you're supposed to know your book. That's right. That's right. But most Christians are not Christians. They're only Christian based on hearsay. That's right. But if I start probing you about your religion, you don't know it. So stop saying you're Christian. Say that's what I want to be. Right. Because if you are Christians, you got to know Jesus had enemies. Right. So I asked the pastors, I said, Pastor, who was Jesus' enemy? Right. Come on now. They would say the Sanhedrins, the Sadducees. I said, who were they? That's right. I don't know. Make us up, make us up. See? And that's the problem. We don't know. So when you look at Brother Farrakhan, and you look at Jesus, you'll see some similarities. That's right. Come on, Remember bro. now, this Bible, Bible, Bible. What is this book? Bible. Bible. Say it again. Bible. Bible. It is a book of scripture. 
Scripture. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So book of what? Scripture. In the word scripture is the word script. Yes. Right. You mean it to now, I'm from Hollywood. They write a lot of scripts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Right, right? And once a script is written, then what do they do? They give it to a casting director. Right. Oh, huh? God has set up prophecy like that. Mm. Yes, sir. And the casting director call in actors. Come on. And give them the scripts and then tell them, read for this part. Mm. <laughs> and whichever actor can carry the spirit of the person that they read in the script, he or she wins that part. Yeah. Minister Farrakhan said, brother, you can take the Bible and take the scriptures out and superimpose them over America and get a perfect fit. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Here's the question. What black leader today is playing the role of these? Right. Right. Yes, sir. Make it clear. Let's, let's see who fits it. Mm. Let's, let's put it over Creflo. Let's put it over T.D. Fake. I mean, Jake. <laughs> Really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's put it over Al Sharpton. Right. Let's see who fits this. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. I want to kind of get you ready for what we're about to teach. Now, book of Genesis. Book of what? Genesis. In the 15th chapter of Genesis, God is talking to Abraham here. Look at these words. And he said unto Abraham, No of a surety. Can y'all see this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. No of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not there, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. How many years? Oh, how many years? years? Look at God talking. And also that nation. That nation, see, it's talking in the future. Right. And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And afterwards shall they come out with great substance. And thou shalt go to thy father in peace. Go to thy father in what? Peace. In what? In peace. How do you say peace in Arabic? Islam. Salam. Salam. Because Jesus didn't speak English. Make a C. Make a C. He spoke Aramaic. Good yes, teacher. Hebrew. Good teacher. The English language is only 600 and some odd years old. Come Jesus on. Jesus didn't go around talking about no high. Right. But that's the problem in the hood. Everybody high. Everybody high. <laughs> he didn't say hello. Uh, Come on. That's right. All right. Now, look at this. Here's God talking to Abraham, telling him that his seed is going to go into a strange land. Y'all with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Question. Let's go back 500 years. Can you see it? I want you to make an attempt right now to go into the slave ship in the bottom where they had the soldiers, black men. Come on. I want you to see how we were stacked in the slave ships where a black man above you would die and he would be dead for days and we would have to eat his defecation just to survive the trip. Come on. Did you know that? Did you know that when our ancestors got here, many of them had had their toes eaten off by rats? That's right. How do you survive a trip like that and not be strong? Come on. Make it play this one. See, we don't forget that. This is why I respect my Jewish brethren because they don't forget their history. In fact, they throw it in your face because they say never again will there be another Holocaust. We should say that ourselves. Never again will there be another crack of We ain't going down Y'all all right? All the question I have to the scholars is, could this be, do this fit black people? Yes, sir. Come on, Dallas. Come on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. possible. When did we come to America? 1555. Now, don't believe your history book because they tell lies. Yes, sir. In the white man's history book, it says 1619. Yes, sir. What they don't tell you, it took 64 years to break it. Break it. Break it. Come on. It took 64 years for them to beat Islam out of most of our ancestors who were Muslims. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the, the group that they feared among the slaves the most were the Muslims. Yes, 
That's right. <laughs> Go back and get the movie Roots. Yes, sir. Because a real Muslim will never call another man master. Oh, right. And worship him as a god. So they would kill some of the Muslims in front of the other black people, putting fear in the other slaves. Yes, and Abraham, not Abraham, but George Washington and some of their predecessors said, whatever you do to the Negro, don't allow them two things. Come on. See, they know they took two things from us that made us three-fifths fraction of a man. Right. So if I'm three-fifths of a human being, what two things he took that made me three-fifths? He took your religion. Mm. He unplugged you from God. Right. And he gave you another God. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Then he took your culture, your language, your name, and it's no more in your remembrance. Then he gave you his name and said, nigga, you ought to be happy to be around us. Right. He made you so happy being a slave when he would chain you back up after he worked you all day. If he locked the chain, you would remind him. Sir, you forgot to lock my chain. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yes, sir. It's true. This is Genesis. Right. See, this is why the scholars won't debate the members of the nation of Islam. That's right. That's it. There's not a scholar out there. I'm not worried about them handling Brother Farrakhan. They can't handle me. That's right. Fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now here's a demon. <coughs> Look at this Caucasian in 1835. Now remember Genesis. Now I want you to keep that on your mind. Okay. No of surety that your seed is going to go into a strange land. In 1835, this man, Lord McCollum, addressed to the British Parliament. Look at what he said. Right here. He said, this is what year? 1835. This is a Caucasian man. Don't get it twisted. Right. The British. Look at what he said. I have traveled across the length and the breadth of Africa, and I have not seen one person who is a beggar. Mm. Wow. Mm. Woo! Wow. Wow. Come on, bro. Wow. It's official. Rewind. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's hard to fathom. Yeah. Come you on, walk around now. <laughs> yes, sir. You're in garbage can. Uh, that's right. Yep. And we in, bro, you got a quarter. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of quarter. Yeah. <laughs> and I have one now. Hey, you can work for one. That's right. Work. Look at what he said. Now, this is deep to me. He said, I have traveled across the length and breadth of Africa. Now, he's speaking to the British Parliament. He's a conqueror and an explorer. I have traveled across the length and breadth of Africa, yes. and I have not seen one person who is a beggar, who is a thief. What? Mm. 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 Not one. That's not our nature. That's right. Who is a thief? Then he said, such wealth I have seen in this country, such high moral value. Law Wackball. People of such caliber, oh my God, that I do not think we would ever conquer this country unless, unless we what? Break the very backbone of this nation. How do you break it? Which is her spiritual and cultural habits. Only way we conquer them is to change their God. That's right. The only way we can conquer them is take their culture from them. Come on. We can tell them niggas when they pull their pants down, when they pull it up. We dress them and undress them. They don't want to have nothing to do with Wakanda. Come on, so. Why oh, they do that for an hour and a half at the movie and they take that African stuff off? Because they love me, the white man. Boy, that quiet. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not talking, he's talking, so don't get mad. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. I'm 
bringing him to the witness stand. He hated when I take him around the country. <laughs> now, how do they conquer us? Unless we what? Break the very backbone of this nation, which is her spiritual and cultural heritage. And therefore, now, and therefore, I propose that we replace, that we do what? Replace. Replace. replace, replace, take away, and give something else. Her old and ancient education system, her culture. For if the Africans think that all that is foreign and English is good and greater than their own, oh, that's it. look at this, they will lose what? Their self the Honorable Elijah Muhammad call it self-hatred. Right. Their native culture, check this out, and they will become whatever we want them to. A truly dominated nation. Beautiful. Were they successful? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got it, brother. Yes, sir. Now, I'm getting ready to show you six Bible verses that went into making us slaves. Yeah, this is the Bible Belt. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong with the Bible. The only thing wrong with the Bible is our lack of understanding. Right. right. How many verses? Six. 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 six days, old Satan, do you have the room? But on the seventh day, I'm going to put your rule to an end. For here is wisdom. Let him or her count the number of the beast, for it is the number of the man. Of a man. Come on. And that beast number is 603 scores and six. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Six Bible verses used to make our ancestors believe God wanted them to be slaves. And do you know many of the preachers still suffer from this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still today. Yes, sir. That when they allow us to become Christians, they also manufactured the preachers. Right. 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 Yes, sir. Right. Do you know back in slavery, the slave master would come to the church to make sure that the preacher was preaching yeah. to black people to be subservient yeah. to him? Right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They would come and listen and say, well, what Jesus are you talking to them yeah. about? He better not have dreadlocks. Yeah. They don't want to see no dreadlocks. And that's why I like to see my brothers in dreadlocks. Because this is a great but dreadful day. Come on. So come on. Yes. Yes. And them dreadlocks is a weapon. You can just what, rub it in the white man's face. Cut him up. Choke him with them dreads. Y'all all right? Next. Now, you may not be able to read this, so I'll read it for you, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. We, we just want to see that anything happened to us to bring us down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, so beautiful. Come on, so Didn't Jesus talk about a certain yeah. man went yeah. down from yes, where? Sir. Yes, sir. Jerusalem. From Jerusalem to what? Jericho. Jericho. And he fell amongst what? To the thieves. Yes, sir. That's what he said. Damn wrong. And what did these thieves do? They wounded him where? In the head. And left him laying in the street. What? Had they did. Then they did what? They stole our raiment. You don't even know what raiment is. Come on, teach on that. Teach on that. <laughs> raiment is culture. culture. Good teach. If you go and look at the Latin derivative of a raiment, it's are. Are means knowledge, wisdom. They yes. took your knowledge, they took your wisdom. Wow. Mm. Uh oh. Yes. A certain man went what down from Jerusalem. What does the word Jerusalem mean? Mm. The word Jerusalem mean a people found in peace. Ain't hey, that's what this man just said? Go back to the slide with the crack. <laughs> Ain't that's what he said? If we don't break the very backbone of this nature, which is her spiritual. So a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell amongst thieves. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sir. Wounded us in our head by taking our education system. Wow, come on. Stripped bro. us of our raiment. Mm -hmm. right. And broke our self esteem, which means I got self hatred. Yes. So I'm quick to kill another black man yes. to get a white man a pass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Come on. Yes, sir. I say to the Bloods and Crips all day, and I said, This your hood? Have you, 
Who is this white man walking around? You ain't, you ain't pushed up on him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Little white mailman just as nosy looking in everybody. Yep. That's how you work for the face. Come on, teach on that mailman. But you ain't walked up and said, hey, come on. What's up with you? Come on. Right. Yeah. Come on now. Federal <laughs> Memorial. That's what you should be stopping. Hey, white man. Hey, what you doing? Yes, right. yes, sir. Right. I don't know. I'm just here, guy. <laughs> Go back to the next slide. Now, Peter 2 and 18, look at what this reads. Slaves, go, go get your Bible and read this. Submit yourselves to your master with respect. Not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. Yes, sir. It says that. Sure does. You take crap from the white men all day at work. Yes, sir. That's right. Talk to the moms and we say, fall in, brother. You get attitude. Get yes, attitude. Sir. Talk Please to on that. Like that. Come on, go. Yes. Please. Yes. Yes, sir. Right. Sister, would you come over here? How you, how you going to ask me how to? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Write this down. Titus. Titus. Two and nine. Teach slaves to be subjects to their masters in everything to try to please them, not to talk back to them. Right. Yep. That's what I said. I said this to white folks last night. I said, y'all ain't never met a black man that'll tell you how he really feel about you. Because in the black community, we know how to navigate through y'all world, but you can't navigate through ours. Yes, we do. You know how to go to work and know how to make white people feel comfortable that you there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He crack a lame joke you have left. Yeah, yeah. You know that joke wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> These millennials don't laugh at nothing. Lord, what? I, I love the millennials, man. Yes, this is the best generation we've ever yes, been. Yes, sir. Colossians 4 and 1. Master, provide your slaves with what is right and fair because you know that you also have a master in heaven. Colossians 3 and 22. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything and do it not only when their eyes is on you right. mm -hmm. and to win their favor but with sincerity of heart and reverence for the Lord. Wow. That's why you have black people in the black community defending white people. That's right. I go in the barbershop and I hear brothers defending white people. I say, when did you become the They got you all up in the prison. Ain't nail one of them came to defend you. And when we tell you what the white man, I don't want to hear that, nigga, we the white man. Right. Oh, Lord. That's that's because you all victim to that. Yeah. Ephesians 6 and 9. And masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Do not threaten them since you know that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven and there is no favoritism with him. Mm -hmm. Ephesians Slaves, obey your earthly masters with respect and fear, and with sincere heart, just as you would obey Christ. Right. Obey them not only to win their favor, win their eye, when their eye is on you, but like slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Go to the next slide. We're gonna deal with a virus. Teach on the virus, man. When the white man met us, this is what we had in our head. Yes, sir. This is the original man. Come, come on, bro. Yes, teach on that, big That's so why when you come in the nation of Islam, there were questions. Master Farad Muhammad asked Elijah Muhammad. The number one question was this. Who is the original man? And in the nation, how do we answer that, brother and sister? The original man is the Asiatic black man. Maker, the owner, cream of the planet Earth, God of the universe. What? You are God. Yes, yes. come on. The white man been calling us niggas. Yes, sir. We are from God Himself. Yes. God is from 
the triple diamonds of space. He is a black man. And they know. That's why Solomon said, Come, Leo, daughters of Jerusalem, for I am black. 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 Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So when, when they put us in the hull of the ships, we had our own name. Mm. Kunta, Bakari, Nala, Kwame, Shabazz. We had our own religion, Yoruba, Islam, animism. We had our own culture, weaving, music, drums. Do you know even a white man outlawed it for us to even beat the African drum? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Broke that affinity. Because they know it's something about the drum would call on the spirit right. of the black man. Right. Right. That's why even in rap music, yes, the drum is important. Yes, sir. Right. that bass. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. We had our own language like Igbo, Swahili, and different African languages. Oh, boy, they downloaded a virus into uh, teach. Right. Right. teach. A germ. Go look up the word germ. Yes, sir. Now. Germ. Once it's spliced, one of the definitions of germs is one, a, a germ has the ability to grow a whole new personality. Wow. Mm. What was wrong with us in this state that he changed us to this state? See, he gave us a Jesus that looked like him. Right, that's right. He downloaded Christianity, Catholicism, atheism, Judaism in us. He changed our name to Johnson, Williams, Culpepper. He gave us English, Spanish, French, and his holidays. This is a virus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. And we need to delete it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Go to the next slide. Let me get through this. And after 400 years, what did that develop? Negro, coon, nigga. Here's the original man being taken out of you, and here's the man he produced. Wow. A Negro, a coon, a nigga. Come on. Look at that. Do you know, brothers and sisters, I want you to write this down called Stockholm Syndrome. Syndrome. Oh, Teach yeah. on that Stockholm Syndrome, bro. Stockholm Syndrome was something that happened in Europe where some bank robbers took hostages in a bank. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Only had them for a few days. Yes, sir. Yeah. They treated them real rough, but they also treated them kind. Do you know that the people who was in bondage in that bank for only a couple of days, when they let them out, had sympathy for their captors? That's right. That's right. And even some of them started defending them. That's right. Yeah. Called Stockholm Syndrome. And we learned in Dianetics that most of us, whoever dominated you in your life, do you know their personality is in you? That's right. Go ahead. Teach on that. Anybody who has ever dominated you, they live in your head. And when you don't have enough wisdom to dominate others, you go into that person's personality, you start acting like that. Right, right. You ever beat your children and then your mama showed up? Oh, wow. See, you saying the same thing that she, I beat your butt. Yeah. Yeah. You saying you who? Your mama? Your mama did that. That's right. Shut up. Be still. Mm -hmm. huh? You dominating your children and you want to know why you ain't moving it. Well, you need to make up your damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Gang members, when they get beat in a game, they mm -hmm. act just like the people who beat them in. Beat them in. Uh -huh. So they become little low. Yes, sir. Right. Right. And when they get frustrated, they go, they start acting just like the cat that beat them in. You've been in abundance for over 400 years. Who do you act like? Act like. Boy, teach. Teach. White man called us nigga all day long. Right. And what are we doing to each other now? Yeah. Right. 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 He raped our women, robbed our women. What are we doing every day? We done turned into sex traffickers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let me say this. Man. I hope this is not happening in Dallas like it is in LA. Worse. But one day we're going to get strong. Right. Lord, what? Any black person, we catch sex trafficking black girls, we will cut Kill you. Yeah. That's right. Oh. And I don't want to hear it. She wanted it. No, we're killing you. That's right. Lord, what? Yes, sir. Right, I'm done with that. Right, next slide, brother. Y'all, no, go back, go back. 
God saw this. See, when I came in the nation, man, when I started learning about who I really was. Yes, sir. Sister, do you know when I grew up, I grew up in an area around pimps and drug dealers. Mm -hmm. I grew up in an era where I watched men dominate my mama. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm, I'm six years old, fighting grown men. My mother had ten children by three different men. Yes, and I watched all of them live in her mouth yes. with their fists. Mm -hmm. But I also remember crying and watching them dominate. And my mother acquiesced, and I didn't realize that that was going in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I got to elementary school and I liked a girl and she didn't pay me no attention, I went into that man's valence. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. To bring her. Come on, honey. Come on. She would come. I'm like, damn, this work. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she got some sickness. Yes, right. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, God. Look at it. I did not know who she was. Nobody taught me who the black woman was until I came in the nation. And I learned that the black woman is a co creator with God. In fact, she the second self. Oh, God. Right. I didn't know that, bro. I had a pimp mentality. Yes, sir. I didn't know when you teach a woman, you're teaching a nation, and when you teach a man, you teach an individual. Come on, I heard the words, no nation can rise any higher than this woman. So I start practicing my Islam every day. I wanted to make up for the harm and the pain I brought to women. Yes, sir. And I would be out selling papers yes. and I'd be seeing a sister going to the bank and I'd see white women walking in front of her and I would break out running. I said, I'm going to make her day today. And I would run past them white women, open the door and tell the white women, hold up for a minute. Come on, sister. Come on. Come on. But it's okay. She says, select us, select eye. Come on, sister. So the white women, they was astonished. They was like, wait a minute. Was that a celebrity or something? I said, yeah. Who is she? I said, that's your mama. Come on in. Because I'm practicing my Islam. So now I'm making sisters feel good. I'm not after their body. I'm not after their mind. I'm after their spirit. Y'all all right, yes, sir. Thank you, Allah, for giving me who I am yes, back. Sir. Look at Deuteronomy. Oh, Remember what the white man said, pick their backbone, right? Go ahead, Brother Tony. Think God didn't see it? Deuteronomy 7, 4. For they will turn away thy sons from following me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That they may serve what? Other gods. Other gods. Are we serving other gods in America? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, you, you, you see that little vague picture right of Jesus? You think this don't affect our people? Go to an elementary school, to a first grader, and hold that picture up and ask the black student, who did I that Jesus. Right. <laughs> and then uh, go on any corner where a church is and take that picture, and when the people come out of church, burn it. And watch how they react. Right. 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 <laughs> like, what's wrong? You just burn God. They may serve other gods. But look at what God said. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you. And destroy thee suddenly. Look at what you did to my son. You turned them away. Yeah. We're the only ethnic group that came in America that had this done to us yes. violently. Yes. Yes, sir. Everybody else submitted to it on their own. Right. right. That's right. Beautiful. Wow. There's a man going around. <laughs> Take your name. Now, brothers and sisters, I'm going to have to cut this short. But I just want to show you something why Jews and many 
high power with Caucasian people, why they hate Brother Farrakhan. Yes, yes, they know who he is. Yes, right. That's right. Yes, 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 I know you don't know. You suffer from so much, so yes. low self-esteem, you don't yes. even realize that a man is coming from you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. To save you. Read your Bible. Every yes. oppressed people, God yes. always touched the womb yes. of some woman right. who gave birth to a child who had a destiny to yes. free its people. That's yes. right. That's right. Go ahead, Bill. We can't turn our back on Brother Farrakhan. No, 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 no. That's it. That man changed my life, and I'd be damned if I'm gonna sit down and right. let somebody attack it. Right, right. I was a nobody. I was a nothing. I was a dog killer. Islam dignified me, right? made me a servant of the people, man. And I love my people. I don't care what condition they in. I love the homeless brother. I don't care how stanky he is. I wanna hug him, man. Hold on to him. Come on with it. Come on with it. I love the prostitute. I pull up on the sisters. Sister, you realize who you are? How much? So I don't want your body. Come yeah. on. I want the pimp that put you in this condition. Come on. Come on. Love it. Where you at? This man Farrakhan, yes. they're getting ready to have a bloodgate yes. of propaganda yes. to make you hate it. Yes. Right. Because they have socially engineered the atmosphere with the pain of women. Yes. 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 Right. So there's social engineering going on. Women have been hurt by men. So then you ain't never been hurt by a black man. You've been hurt by a Frankenstein. Yes. Oh, man. You ain't never met a black man. Right. You had a, you had an android. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh -huh. A hybrid. That's right. <laughs> you met a man made by the white man. Right. 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 Frankenstein. Go ahead, Mohammed. Huh? Go ahead. Didn't Frankenstein have a scar in his head? Yes, 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 yes. Somebody had a surgery on him. Yes. yes. Huh? Why is his making is called Frankenstein? That's a Jewish thing. Yeah. Oh, boy. Right. And the scientist was short man, and Frankenstein was like seven feet tall, being controlled by a short man. And then he put prongs on his neck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, what does the Holy Quran say? I'm as close to you as your juggler. Because your juggler veins take information from the brain throughout the body. But what's in your head? A white man. Every time you hit a black man, you the new slave master. Right, that's right. Every time I tell the bloods and the crypts, what's the difference between you and the KKK? Oh, Nothing. No, I the KKK hang niggas and you do too. You right, that's right. Come on. The KKK hang niggas and you shoot them too. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I said, you even wear their colors. And he shocks them like, wow, brother. Nigga, that's Y'all have to forgive me. I'm a blood and a cud. You know, I'm blood. Right, that's right. I love my people, though. That's right. Yeah. Them the soldiers. That's right. Ooh, when we get when we get the streets of Dallas, come on, man. I can't wait. I want to come back. I yes, sir. Go to the hood. Yes, sir. Huh? I want to go where they shoot craps. Get right on that's my right. knee. That's they right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Don't Teach roll that six now. That's the white man. That's right. <laughs> roll six, you lose. That's, That's right. right. Seven, you're good, right? That's right. Six days on the same road. That's right. Yeah, you rule, but on the seventh day, I'm bringing the black man back. That's Come right. on, brother. Right. The white man is scattered at number 13. Come on, man. Right. Teach right. on that, brother. Right. On that 13. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Now, you love Jesus? Yes, sir. He had an enemy. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. People say, well, what I don't like about the nation, y'all call white people the devil. Well, why are you defending them? They ain't never got as upset as you are. Right. 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 
They don't never say Farrakhan tell lies. That's what they say. That's what they say. They just try to make you think he hates That's right. That's right. But I'm going to give you the originator of the white man is the devil. Right. Go Next ahead. Line. Go ahead. Jesus talked. That's right. This is the book of St. John. The book of what? St. John. Eighth chapter. Eighth chapter. Write it down. Or oh, remember. Verses 31 all the way to 44. Jesus was in an argument with some Jewish scribes right. and, and attorneys. Mm. He's in an argument with the Jews because Jesus was very critical of their behavior. Mm. Come on, brother, and they don't like to be approached, mm. right? No. <laughs> Come on, go ahead, brother. They have the spirit of eblitz. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm better. That's right. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Come on, Christians, let's read this together. Look, at, this is Jesus talking. Listen at this conversation. Then said Jesus to those Jews, 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 hold on, put the camera on, everybody in here, so, so the FBI, no, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. don't be scared. We're here in Obey, we're here in Obey. I had some preachers read this in L.A. and they got quiet on me. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Mm. I said, do you really follow Jesus? No, no, no. All right. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him. There are Jews who believe in Barakah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are good Jews, but there are some Jews who are wicked. That's right. Look, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciple. 32. And you are ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall what? That's make you free. No, 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 that says make. Where you see set? That's right. Make, make you free. Make you free. We just put stuff there that ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make, make you free. But look at, they answered him. Look at the answer. Hold on. We be Abraham's seed, and we're never in bondage to any man. How said thou, you shall be made free? Jesus said, oh, oh, so y'all not the one. Then look at what Jesus said. Jesus answered, oh, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Look at him. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me. Yes. Teach. Yes. Why? 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 Because my word yes. have no place in you. In you. Come on. Now Jesus is getting in him. Oh, yeah. Look at Jesus. He's about to get up in him. Yes. Yes. Jesus said, I speak that which I have seen with my father. Yes. And you do that which you have seen of your father. Now, Jesus is making a distinction. We got two different daddies. That's right. That's right. Don't go to sleep on me now. I see some of y'all knowing I'm about to embarrass you. Come on, roll your shoulders a little bit. Everybody roll your shoulders. Wake up. Wake up. Shake it off. Wake up, man. You know the blood is. You know the blood is. Look. Look at the answer. Now they're getting ready to come back at Jesus. See, Minister Farrakhan is asking for a debate and they won't give it to him. That's right. That's right. So whenever you hear Jews talking about the minister saying, debate him. The community should demand a showdown between the nation and the Jews. An open debate. Bring your best scholars. Oh my God. I just want Brother Farrakhan to give me the first round. Because they shadow boxing. You ever went to the park Come on, in bro. Dallas? Yes, sir. You see a brother in his karate geese, he got on all these belts, and he's sitting there, you know, doing this collar collar, and you sitting there watching, but you perceive he can fight. Right. right. <laughs> he ain't got no opponent. <laughs> you scared of him because he acting like he can fight. <laughs> Protect. Protect. 
Right. Then somebody from the hood said, come here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and just beat it behind. <laughs> you see Mark, you know that dude in Mark, right? He's dragging five yards. Yeah. Oh, oh, I tell you to the Jews, stop shadow boxing. Just like I said to Reverend Price, he was shadow boxing. We got in the ring yeah. with him and he ran. Come on, man. Right. Come on, man. He wouldn't debate me. I made him run for That's right. months. All right. And when we debated him openly in public, 30 of his followers joined the nation. All oh, praise to the Lord. All praise to the Lord. So, you stop talking about us behind our back. Punk. Right. Challenge Minister Farrakhan to an open debate. In fact, Brother Farrakhan won't even have to show up. Right. We can send Brother Noor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can send Dr. West. That's right. We can send That's right. Brother Demetrius. That's right. Hill, That's right. Hell, I'll be the water boy. I'll just take it. <laughs> That's right. Praise be the Lord. Can't handle enough. That's right. We'll take some of our babies and That's right. Wide. That's right. right. Come on with it. Right. We may not be popular, but our community respect us. That's right. And what you should say, even if you ain't in the nation, man, one thing I love about them, they stand up for us. Mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all see in them, but they ours. That's right. And that's why I love what y'all did when them crackers came and talking about marching on the Oh, them. praise you yeah. a lot. Right. Ooh, we wanted so bad to leave LA. No way, boy. I wanted to parachute up in here. <laughs> when it is put up should be simply yeah. God, Jesus. Right. 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 But go look up his genealogy tree. It's a whole bunch of people. That's right. And Joseph is on both sides. That's right. That's right. I'm going to leave that alone for another day. Right. All right, now, y'all right? Yes, sir. At least we be born out of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, you would love you me. Would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Now he beat no me. Neither came I of myself. But he sent me. Farrakhan was sent to That's, right. That's right. Who sent Farrakhan? Elijah. That's right. Elijah is in Malachi. That's right. Why do you not understand my speech? You always mess up Minister Farrakhan. Speech is just like you did. Even because you cannot hear my word. Yeah. Now Jesus is getting ready to go. And look at what Jesus yeah. said. Verse 44. He got sick of yeah. Come on. Now, he told him what it was. Right yes, sir. Let's go back 2,000 years ago. Where was this happening at? Hmm. But who was coming after him? The Roman authority. That's right. That's right. Where's Rome? In you. Come on now, y'all don't, don't get don't, don't turn white right on. Right. Stay black. Right. That's right. Come on. Rome is in Europe. Come on. Right. Come on with that job. What ethnic group dominate Europe? Come on. White folks. Come on. 
So 2,000 years ago, white folks, Roman authorities, was after Jesus. So he's talking to a group of white people here. Yes, and look at what he said right here. Ye are of your father, the devil. Yes, mm. <clears throat> Y'all think the nation was the first one that started it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and even when we call white man the devil, he ain't never said, no, I'm not. Yes, right. Come on. No. You don't even know what a devil is. Come on. Go look up the definition of a devil. It'll simply say a person yes. mm. yes. who deceives, who lies, mm. who connives, right. who undermines. That's a devil. Right. You are of your father. What? The, the devil. devil. He, now he's going to go in him. And the lust of your father you shall yes. do. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bull not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks of a lie, when he speaks of a lie, he speaks of his own. So he is a liar and the father of a liar. You don't believe me? Go watch Trump. Trump would tell a lie in a minute. Yes, sir. Now, brother, go to the next slide. I'm going to end this. Because I'm not going to be able to get you all. I had a lot for y'all, but. I'm going to have to come back. Is that okay? Go to the next Because, you know, the other day, the Jews made LeBron James a politician. Yes, sir. Because LeBron James, go to the next one. Keep going. Well, I got to stop right there. See, I've asked for a meeting with LeBron James. I think he's going to take the meeting. I'm going to teach him why he shouldn't have never apologized. Right, that's right. The Jews owe us an apology. That's right. That's right. We don't owe them no apology. He took a song by a brother that calls himself 21 Savages. 21 Savages. Mm. Come on, man. Come on, man. I also am going to get a meeting with Brother Sack. Come on, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Because remember what the white man say, if we destroy them and break their backbone, we kill yes, their self-esteem. Yes, right. right. We are taught what a savage is in the nation. Right. You know what a savage is by yes. definition? Yes. A person who has lost the knowledge of himself and is living a peace life. life. So he's right. He's probably 21 savages in his age. But I don't want to get to him and turn them 21 savages into 21 righteous people. Come on. Come on. And I'm going to show 21 Savage why he should be rapping mathematics and truth. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. And I want to show them how Interscope, Sony That's records right. are controlled by Jews. Come on. And how entertainers say when they go to turn in a, a conscious rap song, the Jews tell them, no, call your women bitches and hoes. Right. Wow. And I'm going to show you where the movie moguls in Hollywood, they said when they start letting black people into motion pictures, make sure you make sure they only have the roles of pimps, hoes, prostitutes, and coons. Right. Come on, black. Or anything negative. And when you reward them, reward them for negative roles. So Holly Berry got an Oscar. That's right. That's right. Ball. He that. Oh, yeah. Denzel. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Denzel. I mean, he should have got an Oscar for playing Malcolm X. That's right. John Q. Right. They give him an Oscar for playing a, a cop. A crooked cop. A crooked cop. Yeah. King Kong. Y'all all right, family? Yes, sir. And they made him apologize. This is why the Jews is mad at Brother Farrakhan. Because we put the books out on them. Right, that's right. Just like Jesus, we know you. That's right. We show if you ain't got the secret relationship between blacks and Jews, get it. This is the big argument. Because the Jews have been hiding like a vampire. Right. And now we're breaking out the light. Did you know that 40% of the plantations in the South was owned by Jews? That's right. Good teaching, bro. I don't have time to go into it today. Do you know that there were some Jews who helped to start the Ku Klux Klan? Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Peace. 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 Yes, sir. Peace. Do you know the Jews financed the chains yes, that sir. had us in bondage? Yes, sir. Hey. I'm going to show hey. you the Jews who made the Klan uniform. That's hey. right. Yeah. NAACP, all that. 
They Jesus. spied on the NAACP. That's right. They right. spied on the Nation of Islam. Come on, big they brother. They spied on Marcus Garvey. Come on, big brother. Yeah. Come on. They owe us an apology. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Beautiful teaching, brother. Beautiful teaching. But I come to ask you, Black Dallas. Black. It's time for us to unite. That's right. That's right. See? It's time for us to stand up and become one family. Yes, right. Right. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's time for us now to get behind a black man for the first time. And I'm going to tell you, when the dragon opens up his mouth yes. and bring all kind of lies about Brother Farrakhan, they may even use some sisters who say they was in the nation to lie that yes. Minister Farrakhan did something wicked with them. Yeah. Right. 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 That's all they got to do is say it. You got people pretending I was in the nation. Man, when you was in the nation. Now you done turned into a, a little snitch. You were never in the nation. They have paid people to come in the nation to pretend they was in the nation and then walk out like they got mistreated. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. You may have got mistreated. Man, we crazy up in here. We all trying to be right. Yes, sir. That's all right. I don't care what you say about Minister Farrakhan. I want to be there. I pray that God gives me the spirit that no matter what they say about my leader, I don't get weak. Right. Because CNN is going to attack it. ABC, NBC, the black community is going to get upset. You're going to get mad because they're going to tap into your pain. Come on, Teach. Teach. And the precursor to John the Baptist was Bill Cosby. Because now all a woman got to do is say, Minister Tony abused me. I came to his office and he funded me. And, and, a, and three million women going to believe him. Yeah. Wow. Come on now. now with me, she might be right. <laughs> but if you say fire card off, oh, 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 oh. Tony, did you do that? I don't know. I might have. <laughs> but let me tell you about me. I ain't no problem. Come on, right. 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 Oh, I right. have made mistakes as a minister. You ain't got to wonder about me. I'll tell you about me. Come on, brother. Right. 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 Straight up with that. As a minister, That's I right. fell on this. That's right. right. Come on, big right. brother. That's right, Muhammad. Yeah, I did. No perfect. Nothing perfect. I was beat by LAPD and went into a state of depression yes, and started back drinking as a minister. Yes, sir. But Minister Farrakhan looked past my boss and said, Come on, bro. Oh, great. Oh, Trying to teach. I'm a high head. Not that good. <laughs> no, I'll tell you about me. Come on, man. Because I'm a wretch. When you go against that man, That's right. did you do it? I might have did. I did yes, that. So what? Yes, but I've asked for forgiveness. Yes, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Right. In fact, Minister Farcon told me, brother. Whatever you did, absent a knowledge of yourself, it wasn't you doing it. It was the white man in you doing it. That's why when you come to the nation, everything you did before you joined to the nation is forgiven. That's right. In fact, all your sins we take to the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and put them on the steps of the white That's right. Then we take your name, because remember I told you there's a man going around. So when you come in the nation, we give you an X. That's right. Oh, that X is come on, man. Right. That X is God's signature on your mind. Come on, man. Huh? Because he used X throughout the Bible. Praise be to Allah. Follow me now. When Moses taught the children of Israel, God told him the symbol. Say, everybody you talk, take the lamb's blood. X. Go to everybody's door and put a stripe on the right. upper door post and the two right. side posts. Come on, man. Right. Do y'all have bowling alleys here in Dallas? Yes, sir. You got black bowling Yes, sir. Balls? Yes, sir. You see them white tin pins? Yes, sir. You take that black ball and you chunk it. That's, That's what right. I said, chunk it. That's right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We don't throw it. When yes, you sir. throw it, you're being white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunk it. <laughs> <laughs> chunk it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know we don't know how to bowl. We're going to bowl it out. 
So when that black ball knocked down them, all ten of them white pins. Pins. You get it. What symbol comes up on the front? That X. X. It's called a strike. When you come in the nation, we take the white man's name, give it back to him, and you become a Malcolm X. A Louis X, a Sylvia X, a Roberta X. See, X is the Roman number 10. That's right. Meaning you 10 times greater than the Negro the white man made. Come on, come on. Come on, The number, the X also represents unknown. What's unknown to you? I don't know what my name is. They took my name. See? X means you're 10 times better. You're 10 times powerful. The white man made me zero. But the X means I'm now standing next to God who's brought me to the 10 powers. Come on, bro. When you look at a Muslim, that X makes us different. We can't even fix the way we are. Y'all know a Muslim. That's why y'all call us the brothers, the sisters, right? Our mannerism even come up. Even when we're trying to sin, we sneak and the sister find out we're a Muslim. Right. That's right. <laughs> You in the club talking about my sister. She like, uh huh. You a move, man. <laughs> and they know how to. You don't supposed to be eating that. What you eat? Go <laughs> on. They know us, don't they? They they know us. You said that's the Old Testament. Well, in the New Testament, <laughs> come on. That was Shadrach, Meshach, and yeah, Abednego. Yeah. 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 Remember, they wouldn't eat the king's food. They wouldn't that's ask right. on his name. That's right. right. Pausing me. And when the enchanters went to debate them, they came back to Pharaoh and said, these men are 10 times greater than we are. Wow. Wow. Ten times. That's right. So they was in Rome. So what's the Roman number for the number? What's the symbol for the Roman number? 10. X. 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 There's a man right. going around. Right. 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 He knows who to heal and who to blame. I love Mr. Farrakhan because he got the devil on the run. That's right. Let me tell you what he did. Mr. Farrakhan exercised my devil. Yes, sir. Because yeah. yeah. when I came to the nation, I had all kind of people in my head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as I kept watching him and kept walking this walk, Minister Farrakhan would exercise the demon and I would start murdering my devils because we have a lesson that says, why does Muhammad and any Muslim murder the devil? So I have to murder that pimp in me because That's he right. will not obey and keep the laws of Islam. So I, have to lie, I have to murder the lion in me. I have to tell my Lord desire. I have to get control of my stomach and say, no, I'm not feeding you. Come on, son. Because if I eat too much, I turn old. Because when you come in the nation, it reverses your aging. Right? Yes, sir. I've been in the nation 33 years. I'm 61 years old. Don't I look good? Yes, sir. You ain't gotta tell me. I look in the mirror so I can do it. I said, damn, boy. I ain't worried about you loving me. I can't love myself. I'm not lying to you. Brother, thank you, Mayor Ron Bessie. That's what I'm saying. I'm not lying to you. 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 I'm not l
Minister Farrakhan have taught me, brother, be careful when you're talking to our people because you could be entertaining angels from the world. That's right. So I'm honored. I pray. Here's my prayer. I hope I didn't say nothing to offend you. If I did, charge it to my head. Because I can fix how I say things. But I meant every damn thing I'm saying. But I can fix how I say it to get it over better. But I mean it. It's, it's out of the passion of my love because I know I'm talking to dead people. So I can't whisper. Right, right, right. You don't whisper to a person that's flatlining. You damn near break their ribs just to bring them back to life. We're going to wake up, man. Why you broke my ribs? You were dead. Break all of it. That's going to bring me back to life. Right? So we flatlined. So I had to come a little hard. Because of my love. Mm -hmm. And we're yes. flatlining spiritually. We're flatlining mentally. Yes. We're right. flatlining toward each other. That's right. Mm. right. That if you hurt in Dallas, I should be hurt. I should be feeling that in Texas. Yes. Yes. If a black person is hurting in, in Georgia, we should feel it in Texas. Yes. Yes. The dry bones got to come together. And from these bones have to come an exceedingly great army. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so ready to unite with black people, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you say you believe what you heard today to be the truth. How many of you want to learn more about what you heard today and join on with bold leadership? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Don't try to get you. Don't try to get you. Come on down, brother. Come down. Come down here. Come, come, come. Please, please, please. Come, 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 come. I need to shake all y'all hands. Come on, brother. Stand right here, brother. Stand right here. Don't, don't, don't make me come get you. I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out. Come on home, black man. Stop fighting for the whitey and join the army of your own. Let's unite. Sisters, wait, 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 wait. Heaven ain't complete. We can't go nowhere without y'all. I don't want to go up to heaven and I see heaven. I'm going to drop it down to hell. Come on. I love you to you. All day long. Watching you when I was teaching you. Your oh, smile man. kept me going. I don't care what you have gone through in life. Go ahead, brother. God love you. Right. Go ahead. And I do too. Right. And whatever it is, allow that pain to become fertilizer for the person you gonna become. Don't dwell on. It. See all them sisters sitting there. You should have saw them when they came. There's a man. Right. He knows who to heal. Right. Brothers, we need to help heal our sisters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we help damage them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not, not, it was through ignorance. Yes, but now that we get more knowledge, man, yes. we got to go out of our yes. way yes. to make the black woman feel good yes. because oh, right. the social scientists on, out of all the ethnic women, mm. black women are the last of all the yes. ethnic groups to leave their man for for another man. Yeah. But the black male is the first of all the ethnic men to leave black women to go after other color women. Come on. Right. 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 is in pain. Yeah. When we in prison, they come and see us. When they in prison, we don't go. Right. What's your name, sister? Racy? Greasy? Greasy? Greasy. 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 Your name Reese? Yes, sir. And what's your last name? <laughs> London? Well, we giving that London name back. <laughs> We like Reese. <laughs> Sister Reese, there's a class called MGT. Ooh. It's a class where God set up in the nation of Islam, where he separated the men and the women because in the Holy Quran it says the male and the female is not alike. And it's nothing wrong with knowing who you are. Because there can't be no man without a woman. So you're the second self of God. So in that class, your sole purpose is to close ranks with God. Yes, sir. Not a man. Come on, man. See, ain't no man in the nation yet. 
ain't, ain't but one man in the nation. And the rest of us trying to be like him. Yes, sir. That's right. See? So whenever God wanted a favor, he never came to a dude. He always went to a woman and said, come on, let us up and make a man. How you want him, God? I want him in my image. So you got to get to know God since you the second self of God. And you are the manufacturing plant that God's come through. So when you go into that class, you're going to see yourself get on a conveyor belt. And when you get on that conveyor belt, the end product will be a productive sister who knows who she is. That when you walk the streets of Dallas, men are going to feel double take and get on oh, the wow. and respect you. They're going to look at your mind and not your behind. Ain't that what you want? Give me a hot five. Man, I'm just saying what color you got on, got gold teeth. I see that your hair got dreads and you know. Come on, man. We need you. That's right. Come on, join the ranks. Come on, fall in. Look at this, man. The white man hates this. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. He hates our unity. These are the dry bones. Come on. Coming together and from these bones will come an exceedingly great army. Right. I don't know but one black man that unites other black men. That's the nation. I can go anywhere in the world and see another FOI Muslim brother, some Alaika man, and we embrace each other. But if I don't remain a nigga, I've been looking at my brother like I'm crazy. Yes, sir. What's your name, soldier? Steve. Steve. Can I get a black hug? Yes, sir. Look. Her name, so let me get some, Dave. Love you, black man. Thank you for all your presence. Man, Pop, how you doing, Brother Troy? Man, so good to see you, Brother Troy. Man, look at you. You all right? You all right? Come on, stand straight up, man. Don't let that back and forth. Straight up. Straighten it up. Don't worry about it. Tell that pain to go away. Let that pain defeat you. Love you, man. What's your name? Troy. Troy, give me a hug. Come on home, brother Troy. We need your experience. We need everything that God bless you to go through in your life. We need it as young brothers so that we can navigate through life a little bit easier. That's your contribution to your people. Love you, man. Thank you. And your name, sir? Eric, man. Love you, brother Eric. Thank you for honoring me with your friend. Man, y'all about to get me some pepper in the air. So yes, sir. Mm. What's, God, what's your name? Darren. No, it's my honor, brother Darren. How old are you, dear brother? 24? Yeah. Let's see, we can hang out. I'm 25. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. Thank you for honoring me. Man, what's up, Moses? <laughs> what's up, Pops? Man, I believe you my daddy. Let me look at you. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Brother Charles? Honored to meet you, Brother Charles. Man, look at that beautiful city. Yes, sir. A lot that happened in life, huh? You 71 years old? Wow. You ain't even started living yet. You know, in the nation, you don't really become a man and know what to do until you're 75. So in the eye of God, you're still a baby. See, stop thinking that you're old. That's what the white man said. Right. See, you're still young. You ain't even started living yet. Wait till we start hanging out. Yeah. Love you, black man. And your name's so Tim. Brother Tim. Yes, Thank you for my No, it's my pleasure, brother. Really, it is, man. How about you, sir? Your name? Rui. Rui? Yes. Honored to meet you, dear brother. Thank you for honoring me with your presence. Thank you. Man, what's up, Black God? And your name, sir? Eric. Eric? It's an honor to meet you, Brother Eric. Thank you. Man, let me tell you, there's a class called FOI. That's right. That's right. Teach on that. Fruit of Islam. That's, That's right. Because you're the best part of the tree. Your role is to find out who you are in relationship to God. You are not what this world has said. You are not a nigga. You are not a Negro. You are the Asiatic Black man, the maker, the owner. 
the cream of the planet Earth. That's why they don't like the nation, because we know the Earth belongs to us, all 196,940,000 square miles of it. The Earth belongs to us. You, you ever seen our swimming pool? It's the ocean, 139,685,000 square miles. Yes, sir. Boy, look at them dreads, man. I love it, boy. It's a great but dreadful day. What's your name, soldier? Ace? Man, look, we want you to be the captain of the dreadlocks. Come on. Your goal is to go out and get all the brothers with dread, fall in, and y'all gonna take the lead. So when the white man attacks, you take your head, just knock his behind out. That's your man. Ace, choke him out. But choke him out in you. See, don't worry about no white man on the outside. We got to kill the one that's inside. Come on, yes, good teaching, bro. Because once that one is killed, he can't make contact with your devil. Because uh, that's all he's trying to do, sift you to make contact with what he put in you. Give it back to him. Love you, Ace. Man, you a rapper? You in the music? Yes, sir. See, I don't know why. You play drums? Man, come on, brother. And you, God? Jonah. 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 Jonah was powerful. Mm -hmm. Only thing with Jonah, he was reluctant. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But when Jonah was spit up on land, Jonah saved none of them. That's right. I don't know if you're gonna be able to save America, but you can try. <laughs> Glad you came back, Jonah. Come on, brothers and sisters, give me yes, yes, Okay, who wants to? Y'all come this way, brother. Thank you. Come this way, please. Come on, y'all. Give him a hand. Y'all follow. 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 Y'all but when you pray, don't come up doubting. Pray and ask God to intervene with his spirit over doubt. That he removes the impediments out of the hearts of black men that hinders us when we come together. Because when we come up, it brings you up. See? And I believe God will bless Brother Shaheed and the brothers here to do that. Sir. See? We're going to do something real big, inshallah, within the next year. We do a peace rise in L.A. I'm going to bring about four, 500 gang members from L.A. who have changed their life to Dallas. Just meet with the street brothers here to make a connection. And we're going to bring some hard sisters. Do you know in L.A. the biggest growing gangs are black females? They kill worse than the brothers. Cause there ain't nothing more powerful than an angry sister. Right. She'll cut you That's up, right? right. <laughs> so with that, may Allah bless you. I'm going to turn this microphone back over to our brother. Brothers and sisters, pardon me for keeping you too long, but I, I just had to get over Thank the you, subject. Sir. Thank you for listening. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Praise be to Allah. Did we get fed today, family? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. It's nothing like the nation of Islam. No, sir. So at this point, we're going to the next portion of our program, which is the charity. Amen. With those brothers and sisters who are part of the Ministry of Finance, please turn, uh, pass around these receptacles. Charity towards man in its broadest sense is laid down in the Holy Quran as the second greatest pillar after prayer, on which the structure of Islam stands. One who is not prayerful is most likely one who is not charitable. In fact, prayer is useless if it does not lead to charity. Prayer and charity are spoken of together in the Holy Quran, for prayer takes precedence over charity, because prayer prepares man for the great service to humanity, which is the great objective of our religion. In the Holy Quran, Surah 2, Ayah 3 through 5, it reads, Those who believe in the unseen and keep up prayer and spend out of what we have given them and who believe in that which has been revealed to thee and that which was revealed before thee and of the hereafter they are sure. These are on a right course from their Lord and these are the successful ones. 
Charity is a principle of action, which is necessary for the spiritual advancement of man. So charity can be broken down into two parts. One, the general service to humanity through acts of kindness and doing of good deeds. And two, spending in the way of Allah out of what he has given us. All praise is due to Allah. So I'll leave you as I came before you in the greeting words of peace and paradise of our salam alaykum. And I'll bring up our protocol director, Brother Julian Muhammad, who will come uh, give us the local announcements and then we'll close out in prayer and leave. All right? Yes, sir. Salam alaykum. Wa alaykum salam, sir.